Tuesday afternoon, welcome to the Voice of Ocala. I'm Tom Schmitz, coming to you live from the palatial studios of WOCA Radio, just outside the food court entrance at the beautiful Paddock Mall in the Brick City, beautiful Ocala, Florida. Three days, Luke. Three days until the March to Atlanta commences here with Buddy Martin and myself, the voice of Ocala, on the road traveling to the city of Atlanta for the University of Florida versus the University of Alabama in the SEC championship game. And let's be honest, it is biblical in, in, the, it is biblical in its proportion here. David versus Goliath. Yes. And we all know how that turned out. The Philistine went down to defeat. It's going to take that kind of effort for Florida to beat Alabama this weekend. It's going to take a lot of God. Somebody yesterday, Franz Beard, alluded it's going to take a water-to-wine type scenario for (laughs) Florida to win the football game. I likened it yesterday to Lloyd in Dumb and Dumber. (laughs) So what you're saying is I still got a chance. (laughs) Uh, By the way, the reason as Florida fans were able to chuckle and laugh about this kind of situation, this is a team that most of us thought eight and four would be a great season. Yeah, I'm okay with ten and two. Ten and two and the SEC championship game. Mm-hmm. McElwain may have known a little more than we did. Because remember, he said there's 13 opportunities, 15 opportunities, talking about the playoffs and the, uh, everything. Most people thought there was going to be 12 opportunities, 13 opportunities with the bowl game. Now there's going to be 14 opportunities. Yep. One shy of what McElwain thought there would be. I'd say that's a pretty good year. Yeah, I'd say. And, uh, you know, there was a fan on uh, on Saturday that was sitting sitting behind me at the game, and uh, he said something I didn't think I'd hear a Florida fan say, say this season to an FSU fan. He looked at him, and the FSU fan was talking trash. He looked at him, and he said, hey – we're well, going to that conference championship game. Where are you going? Yep. He said, we're playing next week. Yeah. Guy guy came in last night to trivia, and it was Osceola's Revenge was a team name, and they were all decked out in Florida State colors. Mm. And my uh, middle-of-the-game trivia question where I give away a free appetizer, to everybody, if you get a question right, you go to a drawing to win a free appetizer. Mm. My question was, the University of Florida will be playing the University of Alabama in the SEC championship game. Florida State will not be playing in the – I said in the SEC championship game. In the almost competitive conference championship <laughs> game, it'll be Clemson and what football team because we know it's not Florida State. <laughs> he didn't think that was very funny. Oh, I The bet. Gators in the room thought it was hilarious. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Clemson is playing the one once beaten North Carolina Tar Heels. Early in the season. Lost to South Carolina, first game of the season. People are saying – Carolina, who's ranked seven, eight, that if they beat seventh, if they beat Clemson, they won't vault into the top four. Mm-hmm. Well, Oklahoma has to play. Uh, is it Baylor? Yes. No, no, no. Stamp. Stanford. Plays no, Baylor. Oklahoma's done. That's right. Yeah. Stanford has to play USC. Yeah. Michigan State has to play <laughs> Iowa. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's how I look at it. Alabama with a win is in. You agree with that? Oh, yeah. And I think they're going to beat Florida, okay? Yeah. So then you got the Michigan State-Iowa winner is in. Either Michigan State one loss or Iowa undefeated is in. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay? Oklahoma's in. Yeah. So that leaves the Clemson-North Carolina State. I mean, Clemson-North Carolina. If Clemson loses to North Carolina – and Stanford wins against USC. I do not believe, even though Stanford's ranked higher right now, I do not believe a two-loss Stanford team gets in over a Carolina team that beat the number one team in the country. Right. I just don't see it happening. Buddy Buddy, and Joe Williams both think that I'm wrong. I just don't see it happening. But what I do see happening is a trip to Atlanta this weekend for the SEC championship game as the Gators march to Atlanta. 
and I'd like to thank the people that have made it possible for us to go. Uh, Griner's Fine Men's Clothing, uh, Renstar Medical Research, the Briggs Law Firm, all three of them, that much the, the support they've given us, plus the McLeod Financial Group, um, Ocala Copy Center, and then Vic Buttermore at Signs Unlimited. Without all those people, we wouldn't be able to be making this trip to Atlanta. So thanks to... Uh, oh, you know, once again, the um, Griner's Fine Men's Clothing, Renstar Medical Research, the Briggs Law Firm, of course, our friends at the McLeod Financial Group, Ocala Copy Center, uh, and, uh, of course, Signs Unlimited. Now, Luke, you're going to be back here pushing all the buttons for us. Right. Yep. You know what else is happening right right now, don't you? Right now? Right now, this at this time, up until December 21st. What's that? The Big Big TV Giveaway. Uh, with all the letters. It's the RCA, mm-hmm. LED, mm-hmm. LCD, mm-hmm. HD TV. Right. 58 inch. Brought to you by WOCA, the fine folks at W, all of us at WOCA, and Sears here at the Paddock Mall. Giving away two 58 inch RCA televisions. How might you ask do you get in the running for that, Luke? How might you do that? You don't because you're ineligible. <sighs> But if you're not ineligible, which means everybody, you know, that's not working at the station or associated with somebody working at the station, you just go to WOCA.com, click on the Facebook icon. It'll take you to the WOCA Facebook page. The very top post on that Facebook page is the big, big Christmas TV giveaway post. Like that post. I did. You're registered, unless you're ineligible. Go to WOCA.com, click on the Facebook icon. If you don't know what a Facebook icon is, it's the thing that, you know, the Facebook emblem. For those of you who may be a little older and don't know icon is associated with Facebook, you know, computer computer larga, l- l- jargon. Go to the Facebook page. The very first post you see on the Facebook page is the big, big Christmas TV giveaway brought to you by WOCA and Sears here at the Paddock Mall. You like that post, and you're registered. Let's ask this lady with the Hollister bag. Young lady, are you registered to win the TV? Are you registered to win these TVs? Here's how you do it. Listen, go to our Facebook page, like the post at WOCA Facebook page, like the post. You're registered to win one of these 58-inch screen TVs. That's all you got to do. Young lady's now. She's out there on the phone right now. Get, log it in to register. <laughs> it's that simple, folks. WOCA.com or the WOCA Facebook page. If you go to WOCA.com, you click on the Facebook icon. takes you right to the Facebook page. You click on the you click like on the post, the very first post on the page about the big big Christmas TV giveaway brought to you by WOCA and Sears here at the Paddock Mall, and you're registered to win. Could not be easier. Two people are gonna wa- happily walk away with a 58 inch screen television on December 21st. How would you not go register for that? I already did. I'm just saying. Coming up next, it is Tuesday. Trivinated Tuesday with Tom coming at you. We got lots of good gifts to give away. We got the Egg and I, uh, Bob Wines, La Famiglia Pizzeria. I even got an individual membership to the Appleton Museum, a year membership to the Appleton Museum. How about that? Man. All that to give away today. If you can beat the Trivinator, Trivinated Tuesday with Tom next, right here on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National magazine and she also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz hi i'm state farm agent angie lewis come see me and my team for all your insurance and financial needs in the beautiful downtown historic district 416 east fort king street or call 291-2444 
Enrich your life at Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club. Here, century-old oak trees surround stunning homes, the finest resort-style amenities, and a stately clubhouse. Our exceptional golf course will host the 2016 Coates Golf Championship presented by r and Carriers. And here you can savor a luxurious lifestyle that's second to none. Call 352-369-6969 for more information on our available real estate options and to schedule a home tour. Are you looking for a durable farm fence to keep your horses enclosed or a beautiful vinyl fence to give that finishing touch to your home? Seminole Fence has over 20 years of experience in providing quality fence products and services for farm and residential properties. Let them surround your property with a fence that provides privacy, security, and stunning appeal. Don't wait. Contact them today at 352-208-0959 for a free estimate. Seminole Fence, working hard to build fences and harder to build relationships. Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens, has created the perfect bottle for whatever happens. The Bud Light Cool Twist Aluminum Bottle. It's made of 100% chill holding aluminum, so you know it's cold. It's tall and sleek, so it's refreshing. And here comes a twist. It's reclosable, so you know it's always up for whatever. The Bud Light Cool Twist Aluminum Bottle. Just bring it. Ah. Enjoy responsibly. Bud Light Beer, Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Looking to put your money to work? Florida Credit Union has three CD specials, 12 months for 1.05% APY, 24 months for 1.50% APY, 36 months for 1.75% APY each with a $10,000 minimum. Federally insured by the NCUA, APY equals annual percentage yield. These rates effective through December 31st, subject to change at any time. Visit one of Florida Credit Union's convenient locations today or visit their website at flcu.org. Good credits, bad credits, it's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements, from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. What are the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking? Will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozenet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Voice of Ocala on a Tuesday afternoon. I am Tom Schmitz coming to you live from the palatial studios of WOCA Radio on this Trivia Tuesday with Tom. Your chance to win lots of gifts. Let's give away a, you know, this is a good one. Let's give a $25 gift card to Egg and I. How about that? $25 gift card to Egg and I. Egg and I is it? Southeast 17th Street in the Churchill Square Plaza. So the $25 gift card to there. Let's go ahead and ask a question. Should I ask a hard question, Luke, or an easy question? What do you think? What, whatever you think, however you're feeling today. Well, let's just ask the question right here. In the Big Lebowski, what is the dude's favorite drink? 
And the Big Lebowski, what is the dude's favorite drink? If you know that answer, 622-9622 for your chance to win. Uh, you get that right, you get a follow-up question. You get the follow-up question right, and you will win a $25 gift card to the Egg and I. Now, Luke, have you been following the news here lately? Uh, somewhat. You know, with the with the shooting that happened at the Planned Parenthood. Right, you know, yeah. That, that caught everybody, uh, you know, it um, you know, it, it just doesn't. And you're gonna you're gonna hear that that was a uh, some crazy guy. And he, I mean, if you see his uh, mug shots, what's his name? Uh, something Ware is that his last name? I don't even want to really say his name, <laughs> but um, he's uh, he killed three people, injured another nine in, in Colorado, and. Um, just a senseless shooting but something that went you know by the wayside not really by the wayside but didn't get as much play but is getting play today is the Chicago police officer that's been indicted and made bail after shooting a black uh, youth uh, an African American youth 16 times um, he's been charged with he's facing first degree murder charge uh, the judge set a bond at $1.5 million. Officer Jason Van Dyke, he had been in jail since Tuesdays after pro prosecutors charged him. Now, this shooting took place, of course, in October, the middle of October in 2014. It was Laquan McDonald. Uh, they released dash cam video that shows the team being shot by Van Dyke. Um, a Cook County Sheriff's Department spokesman said late Monday afternoon that uh, Van Dyke posted $150,000 or 10% of the bail and was released. Now, people are being, being frustrated by him posting bail. And usually, you get charged with first-degree murder, there's not a bail set. The judge set bail at this, so $1.5 billion. He said part of the reason why is that the officer didn't, didn't seem to be a flight risk because he didn't have a passport and has never been outside the country. I don't know that I'm okay with him setting bail. No. You and I aren't getting bail. No. A, a black youth that shot a cop wouldn't get bail. And this is gonna the story's gonna come out here. But and we always talk to Greg Graham and the chief of police here with the Ocala Police Department and Chris uh, Blair, the sheriff of Marion County Sheriff's Department. We know that you don't know about the situation and everything, but sixteen bullets seems to be a little overkill. A little bit. You know, that, that's emptying an entire Glock into the kid. I, I, we'll have to see more into this, but this is another reason. And, it, and it's, yes, these are isolated incidents. And when I say isolated, you know, somebody said, well, a cop shooting, you know, isn't isolated. Compared to all the times that cops interact with the general public, these are isolated. But somebody does lose their life. So I understand why it's very important that we investigate these properly. But now I saw a guy the other day with the Black Lives Matter movement that says it's racist to be a member, to say that all lives matter. Why? Because it's black men, it's black youth getting shot. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. I, I thought they. My question is, and here's my whole question to that: Black lives do matter. It's there's I don't I don't without a question. But when you say all lives matter, don't doesn't that include it? Isn't that inclusive? Hmm. Am I missing something there? I don't think so. When you say all lives matter, that means all Asian, all Hispanic, all African American, all Italian American. Everybody in all means all. Last time I checked, yes. So how can it be racist if we're if, if all lives matters include you? It's not. Maybe I'm missing something. Tribunated Tuesday with Tom in the movie The Big Lebowski. What is the dude's favorite drink? Six two two nine six two two. If you know that answer, Luke, do you have any clue what the answer is? No, my brothers would. Have you ever seen the movie The Big Lebowski? I have seen bits and pieces. I mean, it's 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 a classic. 
It really is a good movie. Yeah, my brother's love it. But that. it's a little... I would think that you would probably say, I don't need to watch that kind of movie. Because there's some, there's some potty mouth going on in that movie. Yeah. And you are of not of the pot, potty mouth variety. Right. Which I respect that about you very much. I appreciate it. Because uh, I am not of the non-potty mouth variety. Hey, you could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I am just amazed that my 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 vernacular hasn't got me in trouble live on the air before. I work at it on a day. People say, why do you pause sometimes for four or five seconds? Just know when I pause, that just saved us an FCC charge. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's usually what those pause mean, is I'm either angry at the time or I've saved us an FCC fine. 99% of the time, it's a saving an FCC fine. <laughs> In the Big Lebowski, what is the dude's favorite drink? He actually wrote a check for fifty-seven cent to buy something to go in the drink. In the movie. In the Big Lebowski, what is the dude's favorite drink? Six two two nine six two two for your chance to win a twenty-five dollar gift certificate to the Egg and I. Egg and I serves breakfast and lunch, and twenty-five dollars go a long way at a breakfast and lunch place. This is twenty-five dollars to the Egg and I breakfast and lunch and. I still got La Famiglia at the pizzeria to give away. Bob Wines Committee got to get. I got an individual membership to the Appleton Museum of the Art, the College of Central Florida's Appleton Museum of Art. I'm try to give that membership away today, too. 622-9622. If you know, in the movie The Big Lebowski, what is a dude's favorite drink? So what do you think, of, think about this shooting in Colorado, Luke? I mean, you know what they're going to say. It's another lunatic, and... Oh, yeah. You know, he's, he's a guy with mental issues. And, of course, Barack Obama has come out and says, I've had enough. To, we're, gun control has to happen. How about figuring out a way not to uh, let mental patients or people with mental illness get handguns? And here's the thing. You know, unless it's... Or rifles, as it were. Right. And unless it's an act of, of, uh, of revenge, say, someone that's wronged you... Um, and even then, when someone does something of of this, just just like this, you know, it's hard not to not to say, yeah, they've got some mental issues. What you're saying is, when you take another human's life, you better have some mental issues. Exactly. And so you, it, I don't understand how that's rationalizing uh, the cause and and the effect of it. And uh, we've actually got a caller right now. So I, I agree with you 100. percent Hi, caller. Who's this? Tim. Hey, Tim. How are you today? Good. Tim, do you you big Lebowski fan? Not really. It's a pretty good movie, though. Trust me, it's a pretty good movie. In my, the big, uh, my, go my ahead. Comment was on the gun issue. Go ahead on the gun issue, Tim. When you're figuring out how to keep the guns out of people with mental instability. Yes. When when you first figure out how to keep the guns out of the criminal's hands, then you can start somewhere. Well, see, see, we I I, I know how to do that. I know how to do that. You put. On, on the gun grips and everything, you use the same technology that they use at like Disney World to get in, where only the person that purchased the gun legally can use the gun. That way, if criminals end up stealing the gun, they can't use the gun, so they won't steal it. That's how you stop well, that, because most of the guns... Figure out how to hack into that and all that good stuff. Most of the guns that criminals have, they stole from somebody. They didn't buy them legally. That's what we had to figure out is how to get stop the criminals from the black market. That's what we got to figure out. You're right about that. I'll agree with you 100% there. Hey, thanks for the call, Tim. 622-9622 is the number to call. Question out there on Trivia Tuesday. Tom, in the Big Lebowski, what is the dude's favorite drink? What is the dude's favorite drink in the movie The Big Lebowski? 622-9622 for your chance to win a $25 gift card to the Egg and I. Coming up today, it's a restaurant and food show. Chef Dave Del Rio of Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill. He'll be here in the studio today. And then in the 5 o'clock hour, Buddy Sports page, it'll be David Moulton from 993 ESPN down in Naples, Fort Myers, Naples, and Rachel Barbaro. They'll both be here talking the SEC Championship. All of that today on the Voice of Ocala, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source.
When you were a kid, you had all sorts of toys. Toy cars, boats, trucks, entire toy boxes full of fun. Of course, you never really outgrow your toys, do you? It's just that now, instead of a box full, you have a garage full. Cars, trucks, boats, motorcycles, ATVs, and more. As you get older, your love of toys just gets stronger. So protect those toys the best way possible by switching to Allstate. An Allstate agent can help do the switching, paperwork, bundle all your policies together, and even find you a bunch of discounts. So if you love your toys, make sure you protect your toys by making one call to an Allstate agent. Protect all your toys with Allstate and the McDonald Agency. Established in 1985, we have offices in Ocala and the Villages to better serve you. Give us a call at 622-2333. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Are you in good hands? Located next door to Silver Spring State Park and a few minutes from historic downtown Ocala, our award-winning Holiday Inn Express Hotel and Suites of Silver Springs is a place to stay for a friendly, memorable, and fun experience. Enjoy our fast and free Wi-Fi, complimentary hot breakfast, and free parking. Whether you're in town for work or play, our friendly staff will make you feel right at home. That's the Holiday Inn Express and Suites of Silver Springs. Proud sponsor of Friday Night Marion County High School Football on WOCA, The Source. When it's Christmas in Ocala, I always think of Griner's and her closet at Griner's, and so should you. At Griner's, they are ready to help you this holiday season. Let them take the stress out of your holiday shopping. They have friendly and experienced staff right there to serve you. With free gift wrapping and convenient parking, you can enjoy your holiday season when you shop at Griner's and her closet at Griner's. Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturday, 10 to 4. Griner's and her closet, located at 405 East Silver Springs Boulevard in beautiful Ocala. Fox News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. Chicago's police superintendent is fired over video of a white officer killing a black teenager 13 months ago. Gary McCarthy was never able to get those numbers of gun violence and murders down. In October, the city's Black Caucus had demanded his ouster, and that was before the release of dash cam video that shows Laquan McDonald being shot 16 times. The protesters then took to the streets and demanded that McCarthy be fired. Fox's Mike Tobin, Chicago's chief of detectives, will oversee the department for now. A U.S. Special Operations Force is being expanded to help the fight against Islamic State terrorists in Iraq. Defense Secretary Ash Carter. In full coordination with the government of Iraq, we're deploying a specialized expeditionary targeting force to assist Iraqi and Kurdish Peshmerga forces and put more, even more pressure on ISIL. He spoke to the House Armed Services Committee. Fox News, we report. You decide. Meet Rachel. She's making serious money on her own schedule driving with Uber. I was looking for something that was convenient and something that would help me to reach my financial goals. A friend suggested Uber and I liked it. I love the convenience of it. So I log on when I'm available and log off when I'm not. And it's very, very easy to do. Just get in your car and you drive. But I like driving my car. Thanks, Rachel. To start making great money with your car, sign up to drive today at drivewithuber.com. That's drivewithuber.com. I had fantastic results with the Andro 400 Max. Probably lost 35 pounds, and more impressive than that was the inches I lost off of my belly and my waist. And the increased energy is fantastic. Andro 400 Max, the best all-natural testosterone booster. Gain energy, lose belly fat. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. 888-400-0435. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at PennFlooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. Never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results. And all but given up on my sex life. Then, I found the doctors at New Mail Medical Center. Wow! They made a new male out of me. 
feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Male treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Male will help you. Call New Male Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. Located in Ocala, Rinstar Medical Research has offered a wide range of clinical research trials for 17 years. Rinstar conducts clinical trials for conditions such as migraines, memory decline, fibromyalgia, and sun-damaged skin. To learn more, call Rinstar at 352-629-5800. Help us create a healthier tomorrow by volunteering today. Please call Rinstar at 352-629-5800. Welcome back to the Voice of Ocala on a Tribunated Tuesday with Tom. Your chance to win right now, it's a uh, $25 gift certificate to the Egg and I. 622 if you know the answer to. In the movie The Big Lebowski, what is the dude's favorite drink? In The Big Lebowski, what is the dude's favorite drink? If you know that answer, give us a call, 622-9622. You get that one right. We'll ask you a follow-up question. You get the follow-up question right, and you'll be a winner. Speaking of winning, you can win two big, big televisions, 58-inch screen TVs, to be, be accurate, through the Big Big T Christmas TV giveaway brought to you by WOCA and Sears here at the Paddock Mall. Go to the WOCA Facebook page, like the post, the Big Big Christmas TV giveaway, and you're registered to win one of these big televisions from WOCA and Sears here at the Paddock Mall. Scott at the phone lines. Hi, caller. Who's this? CJ. Hey, CJ. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? How you been? Good, good. Let me ask something, CJ. Have you registered to win these TVs yet, bro? I have not yet. I was going to work on that tonight. You got to go to the Facebook page. I mean, it's you like the post and you're registered to win. I mean, these things are 58 inches a piece. You know, big TVs. So go register. A lot of TVs, Tom. Let's try to get you the Egg and I gift certificate. And the Big Lebowski, what's the dude's favorite drink? White Russian. White Russian is correct. Paid fifty-seven cent to buy a quarter, a quarter half and half. Wrote a wrote a check for it. <laughs> wrote a check for it. <laughs> All right, CJ. Here we go. What? Oh, you're gonna win. So write CJ down as a winner. What comedian is known for the phrase "Get her done"? Uh, I'm playing the cable guy. See, I told you CJ was gonna win. Write it down. <laughs> CJ's the winner. CJ, you just won a $25 gift card to the Egg and I breakfast and lunch right there at uh, Churchill Square Plaza. Congratulations, buddy. All right. Thank you very much. Yep. CJ is a winner. Right. Just said he, that was an easy. I mean, I looked at it. I was like, oh, okay, that's an easy question. All right. Here we go. Uh, let's do this. Um, what metal is the best electric conductor? What metal is the best electric conductor? 622-9622, if you know that. What metal is the best electric condu conductor? Um, it's not the most common, but it is the best conductor. So what metal is the best electric conductor? 622-9622, you get that question right. I ask you a follow-up question, you get that right. You'll win a free member, a year, a membership, an individual membership to the Appleton Museum of the Arts. That's a pretty good membership right there, Luke. If, if you like art and stuff, they, they, Appleton's a great place. Let's go to the phone lines. Hi, caller. Who's this? Hello, caller. Caller, are you there? Caller's not there. Caller's not there. 622-9622 for your chance to win. What metal is the best conductor of electric current? 622-9622. What metal is the best electric conductor? 
Might not be the most common, but it is the best electric conductor. 622-9622, you'll win a free uh, individual membership to the Appleton Museum of the Arts, College of Central Florida, Appleton Museum of the Arts. You know, now, now the Chicago police chief has been fired by Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Happened earlier today uh, over this uh, police-involved shooting. Um, of course, you know, uh, the police chief is the fall guy in these situations. And, you know, I, I wonder what took 13 months for the district attorney to file charges. If they thought it was, you know, a slam dunk, you know, a, a, a first-degree murder charge, shot him 16 times. Uh, they have the dash cam video that seems to show the young man going away from the cop when the cop opens fire. What took so long? That, you know, that's what I want to know. Your fun, your guy's back in the news, uh, Luke. Who's that? Donald Trump. Oh, yeah? You're a big Donald Trump fan, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump suggested to a Georgia crowd Monday night that he might ask CNN to pay him to be in the next presidential debate. Always trying to make money. (laughs) He says uh, then he could... Go to, he could donate the money to the wounded warriors or veterans. He said, uh, how about we do this? December 15th, the next debate. Trump said, how about we do this? How about CNN pay me $5 million? Trump justified his price tag by saying he's been a big ratings draw for those networks that have hosted the primaries. The GOP hopeful had said in the past that he wants networks to donate advertising profits to help military-related charities. However, at other times in his speech, he seemed more skeptical of the idea of telling the crowd of approximately 5,000 that the move would only be spun by his opponents. $5 million Trump's want from CNN to go to the next debate. <laughs> you gotta love the guy. You just gotta love the guy. Scott of the phone lines. Hi, caller. Who's this? Louisville Bill. Hey, Louisville Bill. How you doing? Doing great, sir. How's your golf game coming? Not bad. I I've been watching Buddy a little bit, but uh, <laughs> there you go. There Bill. You go. Bill. Uh, let me. What, what metal is the best electric conductor? I believe it's copper. Copper is the most common, but not the best. Okay. Copper's the most common, but not the best. Thanks, Bill, for playing Trivia Day Tuesday with Tom. All right. Call you next week. Yep. What metal is the best electric conductor? I said it's not the most common, but it's the best. Copper is the most common, but it's not the best. What what metal is the best electric conductor? 622-9622, if you know that answer. So Trump said, look, I'm, I'm ahead. I'm going to win the Hispanic vote. I'm going to win the African-American vote. I'm going to win all the votes. Why shouldn't they pay me and then let me donate the money? What do you think of that, Luke? I I, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what to think of that. I've never heard of a president wanting money. <laughs> a presidential candidate. Okay. Not president. Yes, a presidential candidate for a presidential debate. Um, but – we do have a caller, so let's go out to the phone lines. Pay me, and I'll become, you know, I'll, I'll show up at the debate. That's yeah, what I'm well. saying. Hi, caller. Who's this? This is Terry. Hey, Terry. How are you? Hi, right, brother. How are you? If, you I, got it, if I got any better, I wouldn't know the this, difference. I haven't listened to this station in ages, and I've been tuning in the last couple months, and I'll tell you what, y'all are just a gem, man. I'll tell you what, I really like your program. I appreciate that, brother. I, you know, we try to keep it real around here. I, I, uh, People say, I thought you were a Republican. I said, no, I'm a common sense guy. A lot of that is Republican, but some of that's Democrat. It's just common sense. That's a, and, and by the way, the people running things right now have no common sense. <laughs> you, know, you know what, brother? It's like they got Helen Keller being a limo driver for Ray Charles. That's what I'm saying to you, exactly. Going nowhere fast. Hey, you want to play Trivia Day Tuesday with Tom? Yes, sir. About the uh, about the conductor, would that be uh, aluminum? Aluminum is not the answer. Aluminum is not the answer. All right, brother. Have a great day. Thank I'll you. And hey, thanks back. for listening to the show. Yes, sir. Have a-
622-9622 for your chance to win. So we've ruled out aluminum and copper, Luke. Yep. What metal is the best electric conductor? 622-9622 for your chance to win a full membership, an individual membership to the College of Central Florida Appleton Museum of the Arts. 622-9622. Let's go to the phone lines. Hi, caller. Who's this? Steve. Hey, Steve. What's up? Well, not too bad. I'm waiting in the call line. Uh, what metal is the best electric conductor? I would say silver. Silver is correct. It's very expensive. That's why it's not used, but it is the best electrical conductor. See if we can get you this Appleton Museum membership. Okay. All right, let's go. Who is the first African-American champion at Wimbledon? That would be Arthur Ashe. Arthur Ashe is not correct. Oh, man, really? Arthur Ashe is not correct. All right, thank you. Thanks for playing Trivia Day Tuesday with Tom. Who was the first African-American champion at Wimbledon? 622-9622 for your chance to win a full membership, to an individual membership, excuse me, to the College of Central Florida Appleton Museum of the Arts. 622-9622 for your chance to win. Hey, I want to remind you, we're taking the march to Atlanta with the Florida Gators as the Florida Gators march to Atlanta for the SEC championship game. Buddy Martin and myself will be there Friday and Saturday broadcasting live at uh, 3 to 5 on Friday and 10 to 12 on Saturday brought to you brought to you by the fine folks at um, Griner's Fine Men Clothing, the Briggs Law Firm, Rimstar Medical Research, of course our good friends at the McLeod Financial Group, Ocala Copy Center, and of course Signs Unlimited. Let's go out to the phone lines. Hi caller, who's this? Hey, how you doing my friend? It's Andrew. Hey Andrew, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Andrew, who was the first African-American champion at Wimbledon? Well, if it's a male, I'm going to say Arthur Ashe. It's not Arthur Ashe. Is it a male or a female? I I just said who's the first champion. Well, I never made the female. distinction. And no, no, you you already said Arthur Ashe. I can't let you guess the second time. Well, your your, your question should have been more specific, my friend. Nah, just a champion. Thanks for playing Trivinated Tuesday with Tom. See, people get real chauvinistic and assume to be a champion, you got to be male. <laughs> and I'm not saying this isn't a male. It's just not Arthur Ashe. Who was the first African-American champion at Wimbledon? 622-9622 for your chance to win. We'll take your calls on the other side of this break. You're listening to The Voice of Ocala on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Located in Ocala, Rinstar Medical Research has offered a wide range of clinical research trials for 17 years. Rinstar conducts clinical trials for conditions such as migraines, memory decline, fibromyalgia, and sun-damaged skin. To learn more, call Rinstar at 352-629-5800. Help us create a healthier tomorrow by volunteering today. Please call Rinstar at 352-629-5800. Welcome, Florida State football fans. Florida State's football program is all about performance, and the Seminoles are sleek and fast, just like Porsche and BMW of Ocala. Drive one today and experience luxury refinement that only a Porsche or BMW can deliver. BMW and Porsche of Ocala enjoys this challenge of meeting and exceeding each individual standards. Come by and visit them today. Visit BMW and Porsche of Ocala, proud sponsor of Florida State football, 1515 Southwest College Road, or call 877-812-2396. Central Florida is well known for our love of horses, and here at Seminole Fence Company, we have over 20 years of experience in providing quality fence products and services for farm and residential properties. Let us surround your property with a fence that provides privacy, security, and of course, stunning appeal. Don't wait. Contact us today at 352-208-0959 for a free estimate. Seminole Fence Company, working hard to build fences, working harder to build relationships. Stay with us and sleep better at the Sleep Inn and Suites of Ocala Bellevue. Located next door to Don Garlitz Museum and a few minutes from Florida Horse Park, our award-winning newly refreshed Sleep Inn and Suites offers comfy, clean rooms, free, fast Wi-Fi, and service with a smile. Start your day with a deluxe hot breakfast and unwind in our heated outdoor pool. Our convenient 24-hour fitness and business centers allow you to stay on track whether you're here to play or to work. That's Sleep Inn and Suites, Ocala Bellevue, proud sponsor of Marion County High School Football. 
You can have work done on your vehicle anywhere, but why would you? Maybe they correctly determine the problem and suggest the proper service. There's a chance they won't. Eliminate that chance by bringing your vehicle to Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village Ford of Bellevue. The professionally trained, factory certified team understands the service requirements and maintenance needs of your vehicle. And when the unexpected repair comes your way, you can be assured the work will be done correctly, quickly, and cost effectively. Look, you've invested a lot of your hard-earned money in your transportation to deliver performance, reliability, and safety. So so doesn't it just make sense to trust the professional team at Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue to ensure you many miles of worry-free driving and peace of mind knowing the service was done correctly? So the choice is yours. Take the hard-earned investment to whoever for service or a factory-trained certified technician at Ford Lincoln of Ocala or Village Ford of Bellevue. To schedule your next completely satisfied service for your vehicle, contact those who know it best. Village Ford of Bellevue or Ford Lincoln of Ocala, your family of four dealerships where we've got what it takes. Picking up the Honey Baked Ham is the official start of the holidays for me. Oh, Honey Baked Ham is the best tasting ham ever. Oh, I love that sweet, crunchy glaze. And it's easy to serve. Leftover sandwiches and football. Yeah. It's tradition. Smoked bone in ham, tender, sweet, crunchy. That's the tradition. Oh, you know they serve turkey, too. I love Honey Baked. I just got mine. Visit your Honey Baked Ham store and cafe open seven days at 2709 Southwest 27th Avenue behind Best Buy near Regal Theater. The staff at Mid-Florida Prosthetics is dedicated to helping you regain your previous lifestyle. They utilize their years of experience and your input to fit you and serve your needs. Mid-Florida Prosthetics serves a wide range of patient age groups from pediatrics to geriatrics. Listen this coming Friday at 9.30 a.m. right here on WOCA for In Step With You. Welcome back to Trivinator Tuesday with Tom. Before we go back out to the phone lines of Trivinator, let's go out until we don't have a chance to talk to this guy very much when he's not in studio because he's getting his suitcase ready. He's getting his clothes done up and everything to make the trip to Atlanta. He's probably at the dry cleaner right now getting his gator shirts fixed. His buddy Martin. Buddy, how are you? Hey, Tom. Pack him up, move him out. Looking forward to our trip. Headed out there on Thursday or Friday morning at 4 a.m. And uh, be broadcasting, as you know, Friday. Looking forward to that. Of course, Saturday morning. So, yeah, we'll see what that's going to be about. We'll talk about that game today with a couple of notable people that you know of. Um, and one of the guys who gets to follow around uh, the big games is David Moulton of CBS. He'll be on the program at 5 o'clock. And then we have uh, our friend Rachel Barbro from up in Nashville. Now, there's a show for XM. So that, and plus we got Dave Del Rio in the house. A little restaurant time. Well, maybe David can give us a couple of simple things to cook for Christmas. If you don't do the big deal and I mean, make it kind of a, a low-stress Christmas, I'm sure Dave Dillio's got a couple of good dishes he can dish up. Got that to look forward to, buddy. Before I let you go, though, how important is the, the fact that you and I are going to Atlanta for the Gators March to Atlanta, but how important is the fact that the good folks like at Griner's Fine Men's Clothing and Renstar Medical Research, the Briggs Law Firm, um, the, the McLeod Financial Group, of course, so Cali Copy Center, uh, Signs Unlimited. How, I mean, we wouldn't be able to do this without those folks. Well, I really do appreciate it. I want to say in particular, I was down at David, uh, David's the San Jose store uh, getting some clothes for Atlanta. Of course you were. I, I told you you were out shopping for clothes. Yeah. And then uh, I'll be, uh, I talked to your friend uh, today, Randy Briggs. He may be coming to see you about something. And, of course, folks at Renstar, they support us all year on high school football. So glad to have them aboard. So thank you to all those folks, all the sponsors, that make it possible for Tom to spend the weekend with me. Uh, by the way, pal, we're, we're doing the show together for two hours, two days. You're going to the game. I'm hanging out with my buddies. I don't know what you're talking about. You sure and take some bond money when you go. Okay. <laughs> Well, one of my friends is a very good lawyer in Atlanta, so at least I got that taken care of. Well, you got that going for you. Yeah. All right, see you a couple. All right, buddy. Buddy Martin on his way in for the restaurant and food show with Chef Dave Del Rio of Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill. Got about a minute left in uh, Trivinated Tuesday with Tom trying to give away a membership to the Appleton Museum. Who was the first African-American champion at Wimbledon? 
who was the first African American champion to win the Wimbledon. Six two two nine six two two for your chance to win. Already had two people guess Arthur Ashe. Both of them were incorrect. Six two two nine six two two. If you know who the first African American champion at Wimbledon is, now Luke, are you going to uh, you you're going to be you're going to miss us while we're up at Fanfare? But are you looking forward to the football game? Uh, yeah, I, you know I'm I'm interested uh, to see to see what happens, and you know. Do you remember that? I mean, I know you're seven, you're eighteen, so you were twelve the last time they were there, twelve or thirteen. But were you really into football at that time? Um. Yeah, 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 I was. I've always been into football. I didn't know as much Tebow about and them it. lost to Alabama in 2009. Yeah, I, I watched that. I remember watching that at a friend's house. Um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm excited for it. Um, I didn't have as much knowledge, um, so I'm glad that now I have a lot of uh, a decent amount of knowledge, comparatively speaking. You have a better understanding of the sport than right. you did when you were 12, 13 years old. Let's go right out to the phone lines real quick. Got about 20 seconds. Hi, caller. Who's this? Is, uh, this is Jeff. Uh, I was going to guess Arthur Ashe. Arthur Ashe is incorrect. Arthur Ashe is incorrect. Hey, thanks for playing Trivia Day Tuesday with Tom. Who was the first African-American champion at Wimbledon? That would be Althea Gibson. Althea Gibson in the early 60s. She won Wimbledon. That brings to an end Trivia Day Tuesday with Tom. We'll try next week right here on The Voice of Ocala, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. Coming up next, the Restaurant and Food Show. Chef Dave Del Rio of Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grills here on The Source. Your quality of life is meant to be fully enjoyed each day. The doctors at Ayers Global understand that and strive to provide a quality of life for you that has no equal. Ayers Therapeutic Services combines naturopathic and family medicine to help all your health needs. Diabetic management, hypertension, pain management, and anti-aging are just a few of the services offered by the Ayers family. Call 352-512-0222 today and Ayers Therapeutic Services will help you begin to understand that better health begins with you. Do you experience body aches, joint, or a muscle pain all over your body? Does it keep you up at night, interfere with your day, and leave you feeling tired and in pain? You could be suffering from fibromyalgia. Renstar Medical Research in Ocala is conducting a research study of investigational medication for individuals between the ages of 18 and 75 who have had widespread body pain or tenderness for at least three months. Qualified participants will receive study-related medical care and investigational medication at no cost. Compensation for time and travel will be provided, and insurance is not necessary to participate. If you experience body aches or suffer from fibromyalgia and would like to find out more information about this fibromyalgia study, please call Renstar Medical Research in Ocala at 352-629-5800. That's Renstar Medical Research, 352-629-5800. Renstar Medical Research, seeking tomorrow's answers to the health questions of today. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of auto check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala. Prestige. It's all there in our name. Nestle in the heart of horse country, just off I-75 exit 354, the award-winning and newly refreshed Howard Johnson Inn of Ocala invites you to pamper yourself in one of our comfy guest rooms. Enjoy our free and fast Wi-Fi, heated outdoor swimming pool, 24-hour fitness center, and our deluxe continental breakfast. Other on-site amenities include a restaurant, putt-putt, golf, and a car wash. Go happy, go hojo at the Howard Johnson Inn of Ocala, proud sponsor of Friday Night High School Football on WOCA, The Source. We are the source, W-O-C-A. Each morning, we wake up thankful to live in a free nation with liberty and justice for all. 
But sometimes those liberties can be put in jeopardy, and you may have questions about what to do or who to call. Let Doc Blanchard of Blanchard, Miriam, Adele, and Kirkland help you find the answers. Attorneys at law since 1974 and located in downtown Ocala. If you have legal issues, don't go it alone. Call 352-732-7218. Blanchard, Miriam, Adele, and Kirkland. Helping protect your liberties every day. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. Is that couch cushion sinking lower every time you sit in it? Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in the golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has been right here in Ocala for nearly 20 years, so they know how to make your ride one of a kind. Whether you want to take that classic ride back to a factory look or put your favorite sports team front and center. Captain T's upholstery is who to call. 352-369-1810. That's 352-369-1810. Or stop by their location, 5030 South Pine Avenue in Ocala, just past the drive-in. And of course, don't forget to visit them on the web, CaptainTUpholstery.com. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. On the next day of Ocala Live, Robin and I will be speaking to Linda Lucas. She's a computer programmer, a storyteller, and she's written a book called Hello Ruby. News Bites, the hottest news and current events are bite size. And then Jean Reagan will be on a backcountry volunteer to the Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. She's speaking about her book, How to Catch a Santa, a holiday how-to book for children. Find out all about your job opportunities on Career Source with Laura Burns. And then Matt Wilkerson will be here from Verizon Wireless. He'll be on the air to remind Mind me that I really need to get a smartphone. John Horvat is a scholar and a researcher. He's written a book called Return to Order. And then Eddie Rivas will be on. He's the co-creator of something called Rooster Teeth. He's written a book called Red vs. Blue, the ultimate fan guide based on the blockbuster Xbox video game Halo. Keep up with the latest travel tips from Anthony James on The Voice of Travel. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next day in Locala Live right here on The Source WOCA 96.3 FM. 1370 AM. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Jane Metzler. This morning, I formally asked for his resignation. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel refusing to say why that request was made, but demonstrators demanded he fire police superintendent Gary McCarthy after last week's court-ordered release of a police dash cam video that showed a cop firing 16 shots, killing a black teenager. Senate Republicans take aim at Obamacare. A rarely used budget reconciliation bill gets around any filibuster, so legislation scrapping parts of the Affordable Care Act and ending federal funding for abortion provider Planned Parenthood can advance with a simple Republican majority in the Senate. The majority leader, Mitch McConnell, concedes it's unlikely to earn President Obama's signature. Fox's Jared Halpern, ride a bike with you 2s Bono, just one of the experiences offered for donations to his AIDS charity, Red. Fox News, we report, you decide. Meet Rachel. She's making serious money on her own schedule driving with Uber. I was looking for something that was convenient and something that would help me to reach my financial goals. A friend suggested Uber and I liked it. I love the convenience of it. So I log on when I'm available and log off when I'm not. And it's very, very easy to do. Just get in your car and you drive. And I like driving my car. Thanks, Rachel. To start making great money with your car, sign up to drive today at drivewithuber.com. That's drivewithuber.com. I had fantastic results with the Andro 400 Max. Probably lost 35 pounds, and more impressive than that was the inches I lost off of my belly and my waist. And the increased energy is fantastic. Andro 400 Max, the best all-natural testosterone booster. Gain energy, lose belly fat. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. 888-400-0435. Yes, it's time again for Buddy Martin. Call him up and tell him what you're thinking. But be kind because he's doing the best he can. I'm just sick of all the amateur stuff, you know? I mean, like, if I'm paying top dollar, I want a little production value, you know? Like some editing, transition, something, some music. Don't worry. 
We didn't leave you. He's gone. He's not gone. That's the whole point. He's never gone. Our bosses say we got to stay. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei. It's time for the second hour of The Voice of Ocala. Hoo-ah! You ever come across anything like time travel? Come on. Stick around. It's free. If you win, you win. If you lose, you still win. And welcome to our to the program. Time for the restaurant and food show. And how lucky are we to have the master chef himself, purveyor of all good Thank things. You. Thank you. The uh, the the guy who is the czar of Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill. Oh, that rules me out. Most of all, married to the Princess Susan. That's the number one thing. So, wow, pretty good. That's yeah. wow. That's heavy stuff right there. How are you, Dave Del Rio? I'm doing great. Couldn't be better. Couldn't I, be better. I've, I've asked my wife uh, to what she wanted to ask you today and she said i wish dave would tell me some ways to make some things that aren't too complicated for christmas instead of a lavish christmas dinner maybe there's two or three things that you know like you did on thanksgiving some simple things that you can say eh, i only want to have i have the whole bird i want to have just the turkey breast or i want to so think about that if you would all right sure will and uh so how are things at eating to beat sandbar and grill these days sir you know what? We are just cruising right along. The elves are out there right now. My beach elves are out there. You have beach elves? I have beach elves. Not just regular elves. These are special beach elves. You know, Tom would be a great beach elf. In a tutu, would he look good or what? I'd be more like a um, Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> I can go along with that. I agree with you. Uh, but, th- but we're putting up lights everywhere. Uh, we're just really into, and I love Christmas, so we're really going full force and and having a good time with it. We got big a, boat parade coming up Saturday. I was just going to say we've got uh, light up Lake Weir Saturday, mm-hmm. and that is a huge day for us. Mm-hmm. It is so much fun. It's a beautiful place to watch the, you know, the the boat parade come in, and it's a beautiful boat parade. If you've never seen it, you really should come out and see it. But get there early, really early, really early, because we get full, and we'll we'll have um, but it's fun full. You know what I mean? It's a lot of fun full. There's a lot of people that just sit on the deck and sit out on the beach because the decks will be full oh. real quick. Remember, I was there for the first one. I was a judge That's two right. years ago. That's right. And I was down there for that. And we had shuttles from Johnson's Beach over to Eaton's Beach. The judges did. That's right. And I forget Stan McLean, myself, and I think um, maybe Debbie Ingram. I forget who else was involved. But we went over there, and I drove my car, mistake, and yeah. decided to drive my car over there. And I got there, and boy, you had a bunch of people. But you like you say, you go there to see people. You don't go there to. It's not a day where you go to look at the sunset or the no. moon set. Or you go to, to see people. You go to see people. You go to boats. watch the boats, and you know enjoy the lights and the camaraderie, and and it's going to be a lot of fun. We got you know we'll have live music down in the uh, you know in the sandbar steam shack area. Stan, sandbar um, steam shack. Yeah, that's right. The sandbar. That, that sounds like a name of a song. I like the, I like the sound. <laughs> and bar really goes. How far? Steam how long shack? before it goes yeah. from sandbar to steam shack? Full, well, it's fully. sandbar steam shack. The sandbar is what it is. It's the sandbar, but the but the the whole downstairs will be the steam shack. Okay. Yeah. And, the grill will go away and it'll be yes, steam shack. Yes. Yes. It's um. It's it's moving right along. I mean, we're working really hard on it. Matter of fact, I was on a phone call on my way over here about it. Um, so it's not too far off. Um, I'm going to say by the end of the by the first of the January, but but don't hold me to that. But but if not before, but everybody's working really hard on that and and getting it themed and it's going to be. It's just going to be so cool. I'm really excited about it. Just in really, time really for the Green Bay Packers push to the Super Bowl, That's right? right. That's right, because it will be back. <laughs> well, it you got to hope be so. You better hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody sure is in a better mood around there when they're, uh, yeah, you know. No question about it. So <laughs> When they're winning, Randy's happier. Everybody's happier. Yes. Certainly. And, and speaking of Randy, right now, he's outside. He's one of my beach elves. No. Yes, he is. No, he, wait a minute. No. He is putting up Randy lights. Quinches is Randy Quinches is a beach. Quinches is, he's putting up lights, and he's building this. Uh, we have our, our Christmas tree, um, what do we call it, our forest that's installed now. That's really, really cool. He built all the Christmas trees that are down there. Randy built them? Yes. This I didn't know he had a talent for. He is really talented when it comes to this to that type of stuff. Really, and he's putting up. He's uh, he's got a couple of giant Christmas tree. Uh, I want to say they're light Christmas trees. They're not Christmas trees, but the lights, mm-hmm. you know, in the shape of the Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and we're decorating the you know the the downstairs the sandbar and the um, the the tiki bar that we've got on there yep. on that one deck that's getting all lit up so it's going to be really really festive place so you know come out and, and see that it's going to be fun we've even got we're going to do uh saturday we're doing um our soon to be famous hot chocolate bar we played with it a few times it's, last year we didn't get many involved chances. anyway whatsoever it, it could be it's for for uh, it's uh for all ages for a cold night for doesn't a cold that, night it sound good hot it, chocolate with ooh. a little peppermint schnapps in it. Doesn't it, doesn't it and we've got hot chocolate for the kids that, where they can go and they can mix their own stuff in there they can put little crushed up candies and you know uh, marshmallows and kids the, Wait a minute. Yeah. Tom, Tom will be down there. <laughs> I'll be elbowing kids out of the way. Move, kid. This is for me, too. Fun for ages of, of all ages, right? So, so, hey, that sounds great. What? Here's an idea for you. How about Randy constructing or at least getting a huge Christmas tree and have a light up, Eaton's Beach light up, like they have in Rockefeller Center? I like that idea. To have a big night where you light the tree, and then you light the boats, and you light it up, and you go light up Lake Weir, you know, the whole nine years. Huh? You know what, buddy? I think you're onto something. And have a celebrity come pull the switch, you know, and say. I think you're onto something. I'll do, I cool. mean, I'll do it for a minimal fee. Yeah, you know. right. Oh, wow, well, well, yeah. Well, you said celebrity. We'll give you a minimal fee not to go down there. How oh, about okay. that? So, uh, wait, I could get paid not to go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can pay us to come flip yeah. the switch. I, I yeah, do pay funny. when I come down there. It's a great time. <laughs> Yeah, so, so there's a little something. Think about that for like that. That is a great idea. Because, yeah. you know, what a great destination. Speaking of which, has anybody put the first Christmas decoration up yet? Well, not at home. We haven't. No, have we? Not at home. No, no. not at home. We're yet. doing that not this Thursday because we'll be preparing to go for the march to Atlanta. But we're doing it. Jennifer and I are putting up the Christmas tree next Thursday. Well, everybody's got a different schedule. My wife likes to get stuff up by Thanksgiving, which she didn't make this year. But here's the deal. I won't go into this long story, but I got to tell you, when he talks about ornaments, Joni's got like a museum of ornaments. She's kept ornaments from the, the children's from the you know, beginning of the children's lives. Yeah, right. And she she really has memorabilia all of the tree. However, we have a large tree. I've been saying, why don't we cut it down a little bit? You got so many. It takes you days to decorate it. It takes you days to get the boxes down. I mean, literally, Tom, you've seen my tree. I have seen the I mean, tree. It has got, I don't know, would you say 150 on It's a time. Walt Disney World it's type really tree. Huge. It's a Walt Disney World Everything. type tree. I mean, I've got something there like from Colorado <laughs> when our pipes burst. I took a piece of the pipe and made a little ornament out of it. We hang it on the tree every year to remind us the day the pipes During Christmas, during the holidays, yeah. your pipes burst. Yeah. And, and, but, I mean, my point is I'm thinking maybe it's time, you know, simply the grandkids aren't going to be here. We kind of scale it down. Yeah. Johnny's resisting that. That went over like a lead balloon at your house, didn't it? <laughs> However, I'm not going to divulge everything here. I'm just going to say, we got the tree down from the attic today. Had to have help getting it down. And we got the tree. It's a very nice artificial tree. I mean, very nice. You know, those things are not cheap. It is really yeah. a nice tree. But it's 13 years old. And we got it down. I'm just going to say this part. There are visitors in the tree, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't No more than that because I'd be killed I got home. Right. Guess where the tree went? The garbage. Out to the lawn. Pick it up free. I mean, it's not a cheap tree, you know? Wow. You're going to have it, okay? And we had a woman come by and knock on the door and say, do the lights on this work? I'm thinking, honey, it's a free tree. Exactly. Take it. She said, well, I'll call my husband. I said, do whatever you want to. The tree is there. If you want it, have it. I'm thinking, she's kicking the tires on a free Christmas tree. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's well, Hutzpah, man. What, what, what's that? That's like when you put the couch out by the road, for free couch to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. The guy comes by and says, how well is that sleep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sleep too? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can anyway. you sit on that and watch TV on it? Yeah. <laughs> so the tree is gone as I left the house, and so it's it's out of there. So... We'll talk about other Christmas things and what would be your favorite thing to do in terms of a decoration? Do you have one? And Dave, give me some stuff to make for Christmas that's easy. I mean, I'll give you an example. On our Christmas night, our relatives and uh, our nieces and nephews make two wonderful soups. All right? And that is so good on Christmas night. Not Christmas dinner. After church, we go there. It's become a tradition. So, Food and tradition, right, Susan? They go together. 
What's Did some you? food? Why do you have it? And are there any? Is there anything you'd like to put on? What will Susan cook this year? That's what I want to know. All right. <laughs> I we'll, will do. We'll take a break. Come back more on the Restaurant Food Show with Dave Del Rio and what did you what you call yourself? Not an Tom elf. Schmitz. No, no. What was the elf and what? Tom Schmitz. What was it again? What did he say? The large beach elf. No, he said some other word. What was it? <laughs> it's from Willy Wonka what, and the Chocolate what was Factory. It? What was it? Oompa. Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. Loompa Loompa. That's it. More with Oompa Loompa. After this time out. On the voice of Ocala, 1370 AM. 96.3 FM. We're live and local. You're singing. Forget it. The source. Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens, has created the perfect bottle for whatever happens. The Bud Light Cool Twist Aluminum Bottle. It's made of 100% chill holding aluminum, so you know it's cold. It's tall and sleek, so it's refreshing. And here comes a twist. It's reclosable, so you know it's always up for whatever. The Bud Light Cool Twist Aluminum Bottle. Just bring it. Ah. Enjoy responsibly. Bud Light Beer, Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Are you looking for a durable farm fence to keep your horses enclosed or a beautiful vinyl fence to give that finishing touch to your home? Seminole Fence has over 20 years of experience in providing quality fence products and services for farm and residential properties. Let them surround your property with a fence that provides privacy, security, and stunning appeal. Don't wait. Contact them today at 352-208-0959 for a free estimate. Seminole Fence, working hard to build fences and harder to build relationships. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National magazine and she also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz hi i'm state farm agent angie lewis come see me and my team for all your insurance and financial needs in the beautiful downtown historic district 416 east fort king street or call 291-2444 If you've been hearing about the crowded Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill and were worried because you couldn't get in, I've got some good news for you. Seating is now available. While you're there, look up Chef Dave Del Rio. He'll buy you a drink. Now is the time for you to finally see firsthand what your friends are talking about. At Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill, try Chef Dave's tantalizing Louisiana menu. Check out those gorgeous Lakeware sunsets. Eaton's Beach Sandbar and Grill on beautiful Lakeware. Seating now available. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. Looking to put your money to work? Florida Credit Union has three CD specials, 12 months for 1.05% APY, 24 months for 1.50% APY, 36 months for 1.75% APY each with a $10,000 minimum. Federally insured by the NCUA, APY equals annual percentage yield. These rates effective through December 31st, subject to change at any time. Visit one of Florida Credit Union's convenient locations today or visit their website at flcu.org. Opportunities for getting sick are everywhere. Viruses hang out in lots of places, and they love to follow you home. But there are ways to beat them, and beat them before they even have a chance to cause you problems. Vaccinations are like your own personal shield against disease. They're your first line of defense against many common infections, like tetanus or flu. More information is online at immunizeflorida.com. Learn how to keep vaccine between you and disease. A message from the Florida Department of Health. When I started thinking about this year's Christmas greeting, I wanted to make it something meaningful. So here is my heartfelt wish for us all. Good health, prosperity, and the peace to be happy, whatever our circumstances. Remember the reason for the season. Merry Christmas. 
the most trusted name in news, Fox News, every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. W-O-C-A. On the Voice of Ocala Restaurant Food Show with Dave Del Rio, talking a little bit of Christmas, trying to make things a little simpler. Um, Joni says, "Ask Dave. We should have a segment called Ask Dave. You know, I like that. Yeah, Ask Dave. Ask, or should we say, Ask the Czar, or Ask the Master Chef, or whatever. Chicken, turkey, pork, crown roast, fillet of beef." Which do you think is better for Christmas? Well, I got to tell you, I, I, at Christmas time, I like beef. Like beef? Yeah, I'm I'm turkeyed out. I'm hammed out. No. Uh, you know what I mean? They're just not special for me. So I I really like um, you know either prime rib or a standing rib roast or you know something like that at, at Christmas time. Yeah. yeah, and by the way, she didn't put ham, which I'm surprised because sometimes we've had ham, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, a lot of the older stoves, it's hard to cook a turkey in those things. They just aren't made for a big old butter ball, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, this past Thanksgiving, my niece, Sherry George, uh, just went and got the turkey breasts. And they were fine because probably 75% of the people eat white meat anyway, right? Well, yeah. So, uh, and you yeah. don't have to put that big bird in your stove. Well, that's what we did. Did you? There was only the three of us, me, Sue, and, and Mom. And so we, um, you know, I went to the store and got a nice big, just a single yeah. breast, yeah. one side, but it was big. Yeah. It was probably, I want to say maybe six pounds. How'd you cook it? The just perfect, baste it? The perfect turkey. No, I never based my turkey. Never based it. If you think about, okay, you know, I'm opening up a can of worms here. Go for it. All right. If you're, when you're cooking a piece of protein, what's happening is, the cells are constricting the the they're, and they're pushing moisture out. They're not absorbing anything. Mm-hmm. So every time you open that that uh, door oven door to baste your turkey, mm-hmm. you slow the cook time down, mm-hmm. and th- it's not absorbing it. It's rolling right off the top. Mm-hmm. If you th- if you just think about cooking, cooking is think about how shri- how how a piece of meat shrinks. Yeah. It's because it's it's expelling the moisture in the, right. in the cells. Well, it ain't sucking it back in. Now, so resting what do people it, base them? But you know what? I think it's one of those. Um, I'm sorry. In my opinion, it's one of those things that. Uh, Wives' tale. Well, yeah. Now, letting it rest to let the you know the juices settle. Okay, that's different. But opening the door to baste your turkey, it's wasting wow. time, wasting you energy. You heard it right here on this show. A bulletin from Dave Del Rio. Do not baste your turkey. If you want to call us and tell us what you think about it, we'll leave them up the lines for a moment or two at 622-9622. Dave says don't baste your, baste your turkey for Christmas if you cook turkey or whatever you cook. And, uh, you know, give us your thoughts. In terms of beef, why beef? You know, I don't know. I just I think um, for me – Personally, you're a beef guy. Well, it, you know, I'm a beef guy. I'm, a, I'm an everything guy. I like all kinds of food. I know. But but at Christmas time, I I just think that um. Well, here's the other thing. You know, from my Latin background, we also do roast pork. Yeah, you ever buried the pig? Oh, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. And and my family and I don't do it when I, when it's just Sue and I. But but well, I mean know, the rotisserie. I mean the burying. The no, pig. yeah. I, let me tell you something. I can remember my dad and his friends, um, digging this V shaped. Excuse me, V shaped hole in the ground mm-hmm. okay and then they would put the coals down they put the wood down the bottom and they'd light it and they'd let it burn down to where it was coals and then they would take and actually before they did that they would put a mattress uh a box springs now we're talking old we're talking i was little i was very young so we're yeah. talking you know at least 10 years ago 15 years ago yeah um just kidding or maybe about 30 or maybe 40 yeah you know um and they would burn the box springs off by that time it would kind of uh, it would you know make those uh, nice and 
just the springs. Then they would put the pig on top of that, and then they'd cover it with with plywood, and then you know the hole because remember a V-shaped yeah. hole. You got the, the 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 charcoal on the bottom. Right, right. You got the you know the the box springs. They put the pig on it, right. and that left some air space, and they put a top over you know a plywood over the top hole, and then they just let it go. How many were you cooking for? Well, I can remember my dad doing this um, with with his friends, and they were cooking for lots of people. I mean, there would be m- multiple multiple pigs and multiple uh, okay. You know, stuff so we're talking there. feast here. We're talking feast. We're talking him and his and these guys would go into um, let's just say like the inner city, mm-hmm. and they would have these this you know Christmas time especially mm-hmm. they would do this for hundreds of people. Really? Oh yeah. Serve food. Serve yeah. They they they'd all go out there all. All um, you know everybody serve them. They they'd serve them. They they do the whole nine yards. Yeah, mm-hmm. they'd be there overnight cooking. There's something and, very generous about feeding people and from your own food that you cook. Mm-hmm. And really, when you get down to it, I, I I must confess I've never done that, but uh, I can understand. I mean, what a what a wonderful thing it must be to be able to do that for someone and for them to be able to receive it. Because in the end, I hate to sound like I'm preaching a sermon. That's kind of what it's about. Sure. Know, holiday time, right? Yeah, it's it is. It's kind of making sure people are okay. And I remember the time I've talked about it a lot that Bradshaw, Terry Bradshaw, altered our Thanksgiving in the hotel we're staying in, in New York. Pretty pretty highfalutin hotel. Rigo Royal. And he and he over-ordered. I mean, he, he we had our family, his family, maybe 10 people. And he had every conceivable thing you'd ever want to see at a Thanksgiving. All made with a hotel. Turkey, ham. I mean, you name it, pies, cakes, uh, mashed potatoes, dressing. And there were two big tables on the, in the suite. And we came in after the show, and we had it. And literally, we probably ate maybe 20% of that food. <laughs> and what really bothered me about it was all the hungry people out there who could eat this food. And mm-hmm. you know what? You can't give it to them. No. It's, it's against the tricky. law in New York. You can't give it it's to very them. very tricky. And so I thought that really bothered me. And I know Terry's a big on – Terry says he's always been taught to cook more than you need from his grandmother down. Everybody needs to have more than they can eat. There's something about having more food, I guess, to him uh, hmm. that you eat can eat is that, that you know, to fulfill – I don't know. Well, so Some of that comes from the pe- the folks that lived through the, the Depression. No question about it. Yeah, that, that thinking from no the Depression. No question about it because if you don't have it – I mean, it's like you say, there, there, there are people who grew up in, in times – and I, I went through the war years where we had to deal with rationing, mm-hmm. you know, and sometimes you couldn't get candy, you couldn't get gas, sugar. I didn't smoke cigarettes, cigarettes, whatever. And when you don't have it, it makes you want it more when yeah. you're older. Sure. But anyway, so back to the subject at hand. You're going to cook beef. Uh, are you uh, – do you think your c- typical Christmas dinner, uh, uh, sit-down dinner, should have uh, – veggies and fruits and are you are you a cranberry kind of guy like you are thanksgiving or do you like that i know mashed potatoes will be in that mix somewhere probably and i you know i, I like to do like some um some absolutely vegetables need to be there okay. but i think this is this is um for me it's kind of when you step outside the box for like the what? vegetables Impugnata or the- well i mean you know like like um like like Brussels sprouts, okay, but just not plain Brussels sprouts. Okay. But I mean, you know, get yeah. shave them, Those roast are pretty them. Bland. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, you got to. But if you do it, if you you know, if you can saute them, mm-hmm. you know, shave them because that's right, that's right. that's really a, a great item if you haven't tried it. Um, lots of and different very recipes. Very good for you, by the way. Brussels really sprouts. good for you. Really good for it. roasted cauliflower. Yeah, roasted. Roasted yeah, that sounds good. Oh my goodness, it is so yeah. good. Yeah. You know, roasted with some with some yeah. Parmesan cheese and olive oil. And you like to take the basic things and really fancy them up with spices and oil, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if you call it fancying up or just... Well, I mean, just adding flavor. Yeah, just add the flavors to it. You, you know, taught just, me layers of flavor, right? That's what you right. Told me? Yeah. That's right. That's right. And, uh, so you got to have... Yeah, I think you, I think this is the time to, to have some nice... Uh, or you could really go simple, just some great asparagus roasted on the grill, mm-hmm. you know, with some olive oil and sea salt and a little shaved Parmesan cheese. That's, you know, that's really hard to beat. Right. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I used to think, I changed my thinking on this. In recent years, I said to my wife, don't go to all the trouble to make these meals for just a few minutes and a few people Mm -hmm. because it's too much work and it's 20 minutes to eat. But over Thanksgiving, I had an epiphany. The reason we're all here is not just the food, it's the love. Right. I think I mentioned this to you last week. 
is that the love is what it's about. You're there to be with, and food is the reason you're there. Sure. So it's really there to share your feelings and your love and your support. So that's what it's all about. All right. I, I want to talk to you about something very candid and frank. Sure. And I want you to tell me. you got to deal with the complaints. You always go overboard. The customer's always right. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you just get somebody who's obstinate or perhaps even unethical or whatever who are just out there for different reasons. And, you know, how do you handle those when you've, they've gone through three people to get to you and all of a sudden they're ripping through you and on you and everything else about your your, your staff and your food and whatever? It, you got to find a way to deal with that. Dave Del Rio is going to tell us next, coming up right here on the Restaurant Food Joe with, what's your name again? Umpanata? Oh, dear What is it again? What was it again? Give me that name. WOCA 1370 AM 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of auto check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala. Prestige. It's all there in our name. Right on the southwestern corner of the square sits one of the finest dining establishments in Florida, Mark's Prime Steakhouse and Seafood Restaurant. Mark's offers big city dining amenities in a charming and small town setting. It's a rare treat to experience both the ambiance and the exquisite cuisine in a friendly atmosphere. Ocala's finest restaurant serves the finest beef, the freshest seafood, premium wines, and naturally fresh vegetables. From valet parking to splendid service, Mark's offers the complete package. Check it out today. Mark's Prime Seafood and Steakhouse Restaurant. Do you experience body aches, joint, or a muscle pain all over your body? Does it keep you up at night, interfere with your day, and leave you feeling tired and in pain? You could be suffering from fibromyalgia. Renstar Medical Research in Ocala is conducting a research study of investigational medication for individuals between the ages of 18 and 75 who have had widespread body pain or tenderness for at least three months. Qualified participants will receive study-related medical care and investigational medication at no cost. Compensation for time and travel will be provided, and insurance is not necessary to participate. If you experience body aches or suffer from fibromyalgia and would like to find out more information about this fibromyalgia study, please call Renstar Medical Research in Ocala at 352-629-5800. That's Renstar Medical Research, 352-629-5800. Renstar Medical Research, seeking tomorrow's answers to the health questions of today. We are the source, W-O-C-A. Fox News Radio, I'm Jane Metzler. This morning... I formally asked for his resignation. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel refusing to say why that request was made, but demonstrators demanded he fire police superintendent Gary McCarthy after last week's court-ordered release of a police dash cam video that showed a cop firing 16 shots, killing a black teenager. Senate Republicans take aim at Obamacare. A rarely used budget reconciliation bill gets around any filibuster. So legislation scrapping parts of the Affordable Care Act and ending federal funding for abortion provider Planned Parenthood can advance with a simple Republican majority in the Senate. The majority leader, Mitch McConnell, concedes it's unlikely to earn President Obama's signature. Fox's Jared Halpern, ride a bike with U2's Bono, just one of the experiences offered for donations to his AIDS charity, Red. Fox News, we report, you decide. Meet Rachel. She's making serious money on her own schedule driving with Uber. I was looking for something that was convenient and something that would help me to reach my financial goals. A friend suggested Uber and I liked it. I love the convenience of it. So I log on when I'm available and log off when I'm not. And it's very, very easy to do. Just get in your car and you drive. But I like driving my car. Thanks, Rachel. To start making great money with your car, sign up to drive today at drivewithuber.com. That's drivewithuber.com. 
I had fantastic results with the Andro 400 Max. Probably lost 35 pounds, and more impressive than that was the inches I lost off of my belly and my waist. And the increased energy is fantastic. Andro 400 Max, the best all-natural testosterone booster. Gain energy, lose belly fat. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. 888-400-0435. Ocala Aviation now has opportunities for flight instructors. Wait, hold on, Brad, is this correct? You're looking for instructors, not students? Actually, we're looking for both. Well, that's descriptive. Well, I need flight instructors because we're now affiliated with a major university and can offer four-year degrees, plus we're also approved to work directly with VA students. Okay, so a degree in what, and what's a VA student? Well, it's a bachelor's degree in aeronautics, which includes a commercial pilot's license, and there's financial aid available. By VA students, I mean veterans. They now have access to new benefits to pay for flight training. Okay, so you have new opportunities for new students. What about the instructor side of it? Well, with new students, we need more instructors. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So, if anyone out there is a flight instructor, I want to encourage them to come see me. And if they're not an instructor but have their commercial license, we can help them become an instructor. So they get their instructor license and have a job too. Exactly. So you got a lot going on. The VA, the college, and now hiring instructors and future instructors too. Yep. So now can we get the commercial started? Already ahead of you. Call Brad to get your adventure started today at Ocala Aviation. 861-7484. Are you in need of custom screen printing, embroidery, or promotional items? Then look no further and come visit the brand new Legacy Team Sales. LTS is conveniently located off 17th Street next to Armstrong Homes in beautiful Ocala. We offer the best prices and highest quality products for your company, team, school, or nonprofit. Whether looking for screen printed shirts, embroidered polos, or travel team uniforms, you'll be sure to find it at Legacy Team Sales. Come visit our new 27,000 square foot facility. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff will assist you in every part of your custom purchase. LTS carries the hottest brands in the industry like Under Armour, Russell, Mizuno, Asics, Badger Sports, Gildan, Pacific, Ogeo, and many more. At LTS, screen printing embroidery is done in-house and we guarantee customer satisfaction. Stop by, give us a call, or check us out on the web at shoplts.com. Remember the name, LTS. Restaurant Food Show, as soon as we figure out what our question is and what we got to give away, we'll open up the uh, the phone lines during the break for somebody to win a certificate for some kind of food. Or Dave Del Rio could just come to your house and cook. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, that would be a prize. That mm-hmm. would be a prize. You should put that one on for big charity donations. Sometime. You know, you know, I've done that several times. They really? just did that. Yeah, there's a, I cannot think of the name of it in Tampa. Um but they they auction raffled auctioned off. Um, I'm going to go with someone's home wow. and prepare a paella. Well, I'll tell you what, you go figure it out, and we'll figure out how to broadcast it. It'll be fun. <laughs> now, that paella is the killer. Yeah, I mean that looks so good. Every time I look at that picture on Facebook, it looks so. You know, good. Mr. Umbo here didn't know I made paellas. He, he, didn't, he didn't know that. No, really? No, I knew you made paella. I just he didn't just know, thought no, no. Wait a minute. I didn't know what all went into a paella. I thought you said pie. <laughs> He just thought that what's his name? Gore, uh, uh, Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay was just all about uh, you know the paella. He'd never seen a picture of one of mine. I didn't know all, what all went into a paella. Huh. My family is from Valencia, Spain. I understand that, Bobby. I'm sure you do a good job on your paella, but I'll go toe to toe with you any day. I just dude. didn't know what all went into a any paella. Day. I didn't know that mussels and clams, of course, lobster and sea scallops, yeah. and yellow rice, Everything. chicken, and all yeah, kinds. Of I'm, working, I'm working on a, a Cajun paella. I've said it before. I've said it before that jambalaya comes from paella as a derivative of paella. Really? It, absolutely. When when uh, when Louisiana was under Spanish rule, yeah. Well, the 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 Spaniards brought their paella pans and they, you know, but they didn't have the stuff to make like they do in 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 Spain. So they used the indigenous in, in ingredients in in Louisiana, and it turned out to be jambalaya. I have a question for you. Certainly. Um, crawfish pie. Mm-hmm. Philly gumbo. Yeah. 
You know where I'm going with this, don't you? Mm. Jambalaya, crawfish fry, Philly gumbo. <laughs> but tonight I'm going to say, Mom, shadow me. I didn't know you were going to sing, though. Yeah. I love that song. On the bio. Uh, we make, we, I make uh, crawfish pie. Do you? Oh, my goodness. It's, one of, it's a big seller at the restaurant. What goes, one of our you have it here? We have it here. You have never seen my crawfish pie? No. It is It is totally, totally, it's it's not like you would get in New Orleans. Uh, some of the ingredients are there, but I took a whole different spin on it. It's an actual pie. Whereas in Louisiana, if you get a crawfish pie, it's more like an empanada. Uh-huh. Mine is an actual pie. It's got like three different kinds of cheese in it. It's got crawfish. It's got catfish. And then it's topped with mock shoe, which is a Native American form of cream corn. Okay. Of course, with bacon and all kinds of other okay. good stuff in it. But yeah, absolutely. Crawfish pie. Crawfish pie. I got one for you. She's talking about making Spanish. Now, this is one that your friend at the Columbia Restaurant does quite well with. But I've had good and I've had bad sangria. Sure. Sangria and paella got to be great together. Yes. Absolutely. It's what Bobby Flay ate today. Paella with sangria is his drink. That's got Bobby fact. Flay on the brain, I'm telling you. I watched I'm Bobby Flay's you. show this morning at like 5 o'clock. <laughs> when we do our cooking class and we do the paella, yeah. we, that's what we, we, serve, we serve sangria with Instead it. Instead of cooking sure, you have a little, little serve sangria? Serve sangria with it, yeah. I make a pretty mean sangria, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, I got my own, uh, my own uh, little way of doing it. So it's kind of like one of those things where everybody has a way to do it. You know, it's not simple, just right out of a bottle. I mean, no. that's not that's not no, no. sangria. No, you know, no. It's, it's, uh, there's a reason it's, uh, they call a mixologist, right? Exactly. No. Exactly. Um, so, all right. So I'm looking through some of these items uh, on my uh, my Yahoo food page, and I'm thinking, do you make this stuff for holidays? Here's one: peanut butter balls. Um, I don't. I've made them for the holidays before, yeah. but uh, what do you call it? The covered with chocolate? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the Buckeyes. The, uh, yeah. Said uh, it's. Uh, let's see what it is. It's uh, award-winning small batch foods retailers. It's peanut butter balls. Make sixty to seventy of them. It takes about three hours. And this person's on my one of my long stays in Paris. I was invited to a very chic house party in a gorgeous apartment that towered above Montmartre. In attendance were many Parisians, Europeans, whatever. Anyway, um, expected vintage music, etc. Apparently, they got their fresh apple rhubarb tart, and then they served peanut butter balls. You wouldn't expect those to be served in Paris, would you? Um, and the recipe is here. Uh, have you ever made them? I don't know if I've made them the way they make them in Paris, yeah. but I've made them the yeah. way they, yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, they use a rice cereal in it? Get a little crunch. How you make them? A little know. crunch, yeah. Yeah. It says, turns out Parisians love peanut butter and chocolate as much as Americans. Huh. So how about that? I, I didn't, didn't know, know they that. ate that much. I didn't know that either. Yeah. So I guess that's one of those things you could make. That'd be kind of a different kind of a Christmas thing, wouldn't it? Sure. You know, you do. I, I would do it like you're doing cookies. You know what I mean? Everybody get together. Cause yeah, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. A couple of step process. Yeah. How about candy? You ever make any candy? Not much of a candy maker, I have to admit. I have, but yeah. I, I'm not much at it. Yeah. Um, this is one they listed, uh, candy cane marshmallows. Says uh, homemade treats, great in hot cocoa. Now that makes sense. Yeah. Or straight from the bag. Peppermint marshmallows, easy to make. Get a red swirl from a quick marbleizing technique and then go and give you this thing and I'll tell you how to make them. That'd be fun. It looks kind of cool. That'd be fun. Something different. Just something different. I've made marshmallows before. Well, you, of course, everybody makes samoras. Everybody's make those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I can cook those. Yeah. Yeah. So when you get into. I guess probably Susan probably does a lot of the holiday baking, right? Yeah, no. not so much. No. no, you don't like baking. Now you know what? I'm 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 really not. I've I've done lots of baking before. Yeah, it's not it's not my thing. You know, when when you talk about chefs, that's why there's pastry chefs yes. and you know there's they're whole they're really and truly they're both different worlds. Yes. not that you can't be good at it or you can't do it. One chef can't do it. It's not that. It's just just you, the time dedicated to perfection of. Right. Of that, you know, it's it's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, special drinks at holiday. Here's one, uh, sangria with cider. Mm-hmm. You ever had that? Sure. Have you? Um, fresh apple martini. You've had those. Oh, yeah. In fact, you drink them every night. We're working right? on a churro martini at the restaurant right What's now. What's that? A churro? Yeah. It's a, it's a, what we call Spanish donuts. It's the brown sugar and the dough oh, okay. that's, uh, you know, it's got that little... Uh, Kind of anise flavor. Churro de chocolate was one of the best things when I was a kid. Absolutely. You get a boardwalk in Jacksonville, eat eat them like they were 
That's a that's the traditional breakfast in Spain. My wife secret weapon, and it is the best cookie of all time at Christmas. And my kids they say it's not Christmas until she makes these. And now she's taught her grandniece how to cook these. And now for the third fifth time this year, she's coming over, Lindy, Lindy George, and she says, Aunt Joni, it's not Christmas until we make the thumbprint cookies. Mm. You know, that kind of a nice, I don't know if it's oatmeal, whatever it is, and then mm-hmm. they put the frosting in the middle, and they are to die for. Thumbprint cookies in my house represent Christmas. Is there any one thing for you guys, the food that represents Christmas? I'm trying to think of it. For me, there's there is one. There's a cookie, especially. And I'm Susan. What's the name of that cookie? That that my mom used to make. Now your mom makes them for me. The wedding cookie. The wedding cookie. You know, dusted mm. with the powdered sugar. Wedding cookie. It's cookies got the little, really the little nuts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. That to me, that may be, the the the. What kind of nuts? She used the walnuts. What does she use? Walnuts or pecans? Pecans. Yeah. Ooh, but that way. but that but I think you're right though. I think that's my signature Christmas. Uh, that's it. Now that you mentioned it. Yeah. It's not wedding Christmas unless it. I have those cookies. So it shouldn't be called wedding. It should be called a Christmas cookie. But, you know, I think I'm going to change the name, at least in my house. Do that. At least in my house, Your I'm house? changing the name. As soon as you get that big Christmas tree up on I, the I know it was yeah. always Christmas at my house when my mom broke out. And I, I actually, if you ever want to have a candy around that I will not touch, this is the one you do. When my mom would break out the chocolate-covered cherries. Love them. Oh. She, she would break those out and... I she she would always break those out at Christmas and I just that that and eggnog I know it's Christmas time when eggnog gets broke out because I love eggnog, but the yeah. chocolate covered cherries, buy cases of them you will never get me to touch them. Really? Huh. You told me one time you'd eat anything. I don't know about six things. Chocolate you, covered no, cherries. No, none of this. No chocolate covered cherries. cherries. No chicken with bones. No this. I'm all of a sudden hell this. He list. got a lot of rules, doesn't he? He yeah, does. Yeah, for yeah. a guy who says he eats anything. You know, you know a, what I don't have a rule guy. about? No, you know what I don't have a rule about? You take a good. Uh, Cap Morgan Spice Rum or Cap Sailor Jerry's or whatever, melt some butter in that and heat all that up and eat, drink that as a warm cocktail. Rum and butter? Buttered mm-hmm. rum. Oh. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I have nothing against? A good trivia question. I got one. You got one? I got one. All right. Nice. And then we're going to open up the lines. And you got something to give them back there? Um, nothing from Eaton's Beach. What? Well, out of Eaton's Beach. We have uh, to fix that. We'll go back and tap it in to see if we can out find something. Out of Eaton's something. Beach. I got, I got stuff back there, but no Eaton's Beach. All right. Well, all right. well, we'll, find, we'll figure it out. Dave figure feels in a generous out. mood. I like them picking them up, Dave, because that way I don't have to be in charge of the tickets, and you can have them directly meet the people. That's, That's I love that. I love That's that. It's a better way to do it. I'd rather not be have them here anyway. So Come over and pick it up from me. Well, right. let's do so, that then. So That's Dave fine. is offering a $100 ticket. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> $250. No, no. $25 gift certificate. Whoever can answer this question for Eat to be Sandbar Grill. Susan found Steve this question. Mark. Susan found Susan this question. Susan finds all the questions. We she know does. That. She She's, said go. it's on the website. Yeah, I would suggest you look at the calendar What is, what is the website, folks? Eaton Beach. Sam, Eaton, Eaton's Eaton's Beach. Com. Eaton's com. Beach. Eaton's Beach. Com. Eaton's Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Go to the website. I suggest looking at the calendar area. Yeah. It may or may not be there. Yeah. I don't know. But what tradition takes place December 5th, 2015 at Eaton's Beach Sam Barton, uh Steam December Shack 15th. Grill. Steam Shack, yeah. yeah. December 5th. 5th. I think we might have mentioned it today on the show. We might have. We might have, but what's the name of that tradition? Well, all you got to do is start calling in about one minute, we'll 622 9622. In fact, we'll go to break right now. Come well, back, and we'll uh, answer you. And I'll talk to you about some condiments, what you can use too much of on your food. Some people say, I got a feeling Dave Del Rio is not going to agree with me on that. <laughs> I'm not sure I do either. Coming up next, right here on the Restaurant Food Show, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. Call now, the source. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of AutoCheck and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala. Prestige. It's all there in our name. When you were a kid, you had all sorts of toys. Toy cars, boats, trucks, entire toy boxes full of fun. Of course, you never really outgrow your toys, do you? It's just that now, instead of a box full, you have a garage full. Cars, trucks, boats, motorcycles, ATVs, and more. 
As you get older, your love of toys just gets stronger. So protect those toys the best way possible by switching to Allstate. An Allstate agent can help do the switching, paperwork, bundle all your policies together, and even find you a bunch of discounts. So if you love your toys, make sure you protect your toys by making one call to an Allstate agent. Protect all your toys with Allstate and the McDonald Agency. Established in 1985, we have offices in Ocala and the villages to better serve you. Give us a call at 622-2333. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Are you in good hands? When it's Christmas in Ocala, I always think of Griner's and her closet at Griner's, and so should you. At Griner's, they're ready to help you this holiday season. Let them take the stress out of your holiday shopping. They have friendly and experienced staff right there to serve you. With free gift wrapping and convenient parking, you can enjoy your holiday season when you shop at Griner's and her closet at Griner's. Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturday, 10 to 4. Griner's and her closet, located at 405 East Silver Springs Boulevard in beautiful Ocala. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, this is Becky at Hello Gorgeous Salon. Let's get rid of those sun damaged ends and faded out color and get into something rich and vibrant. It's time to get that new look started. So call today and set up your appointment at Hello Gorgeous Salon, 351-5358. Hello Gorgeous is a certified Brazilian blowout salon. We can tame those locks, leaving your hair healthy and shiny with a Brazilian smoothing treatment. And whether you're going on a job interview or out on a date, your hands do a lot of talking. Manicures are a must. Hello Gorgeous is a full service salon, so let us help you make a great first impression. Call us today to set your appointment at Hello Gorgeous. Our number is 352-351-5358. Again, that's 352-351-5358. Hello Gorgeous is conveniently located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion Theater. And don't forget, we also do men and children's cuts too. Hello Gorgeous. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results and all but given up on my sex life. Then I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow, they made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mayo treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. Back on the restaurant food show. Real quick, Luke, what does your mom make at Christmas time? The Buckeye Balls is what people know them as. The peanut butter and, jelly and, yeah. and chocolate. She right. makes those bacon covered dates now, too, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. All right, Tom, we got one caller. He did not have the correct answer. If right. you know the answer right now, you better call. You got about two minutes. 622 9622. What, what is the tradition? What's the name, the official name of the tradition that takes place? It'll take place this year, December 5th. On Saturday. 2015. It's on the Eaton's Beach uh, website. Go to eatonsbeach.com. Yeah, you it. It's all over the website, is it not, Dave? All it over is. the website. It is. And on our Facebook page, too. Yeah. $25 gift certificate to eat some of the scrumptious. You have paella down there, by the way. Mm, no, mm. special order only. I think I'll take. I'm gonna take a class how to make it next time you. You have should. One. Hey, let's talk about the when people order things to go on their food. I mean, you know, look, my wife is going to the best restaurants in America, the steakhouses, and she's she's gonna get ketchup. She doesn't care. She's gonna get ketchup with her steak. Period. Uh, there's a lot of people who think salt, pepper, pepper, salt. Tom and I had dinner recently or lunch. So much salt, we could not Ooh. eat it. I mean, unbelievable. I mean, I still ate it, but it would yeah, uh, yeah, of should have. But, but there are some issues with salt. Now, I don't like, I'd rather go a little heavier than a little light. I'm a salt person. It's never bothered me, I don't think. Um, and uh, now New York City, who's the home of the, you know, squashing the, what is it, 24 ounce drink, whatever it may be, now they are issuing a warning and new rules for change, re, chain restaurants on salt. So they issued, uh, 
the initial nutritional warnings this week. Chain restaurants will have to start putting a special symbol on highly salted dishes. And it looks like this, as you'll see, kind of a looks like a road sign with a salt shaker in it, yeah. uh, etc. Um, you're a big spice guy. I am. You love spice, but you like your salt and pepper too. Yeah. And and do you? Uh, but do you put a little bit less salt than most uh, on yours, and people can add it, or do you put you put the amount that you like when you eat the food? You know what? I I, I prepare. I design my recipes for the f- to me for the perfect amount of, of seasoning, where where I don't believe you'd have to put salt or or pepper on it, and it would definitely never be salty. See, I like that. I think that's good. I mean, I, I can understand. I'm. Yeah, I, I love the spices and the flavor and whatever. I could do without a whole lot of salt if I could. But to. I don't under salt purposely no. thinking that, no, I don't do that. Yeah. To me, to me, uh, uh, when I design a, a, a recipe, it's it, it to me it should be eaten. That should be. It's hard to say. You know what I mean? You It, it can be eaten exactly as it is without you having you to do have anything to add it. Anything. You should not have to add anything to it. Okay. It, it's up to you if you do. That's I'm not mad if you do. I'm a big pepper guy, though. I love me some pepper. Yeah. Now, I would be more leery of over-peppering something, yeah. in my opinion. You know, yeah. for me, the, the way I cook, the, rather than than, uh, than over-salting. Well, if you use spices, that's, uh, you know, why would you have to do any of that, right? Well, that's exactly right. That's And that's where balance comes in. Yeah. I try to balance every dish oh, okay. so that all the flavors are balanced, and yeah. you don't have to do anything to it. You're a spicy guy, but you also are a flavor guy. Well, absolutely, sure. Love the layers of flavor. Absolutely. Layers of flavor is it keeps dishes and food from becoming monotonous when you eat it. I guess we're having a lot of calls, but nobody seems it's to really the same get the guy answer. Call it, it's the same guy calling same back guy, every right. time, and oh. he's he's having trouble hearing us, but I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, well, he gets one shot, and that's it. So He got yeah. it right. Yeah, he, he just he has called his name. the wrong name. Oh, he got it right? Yeah, he got it right. Okay. Well, we can say what we're it is. We're trying to get his name. We, well, all right. If the guy who called in with a name calls back, we're going to get your name. He's got him on the phone now. And and so he's the winner he of a twenty five dollar gift. Twenty five dollar gift certificate. He's got to go was. pick it up from Dave Del Rio. Ask for right. Mr. Del Rio. Right. I'd advise you to go there when Dave is there. Right. Or you might find yourself not getting it. He so. knew the correct <laughs> answer was light up Lake Weir. Yeah, light up Lake Weir. It is the correct answer. And I understand that. Hey, before Dave we Del Rio, and Ron Zook. And Tom Ingram have lit up late weir in a different way occasionally. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. But before we go, we got yeah. 20 seconds. You uh, you want to touch on, or are we going to wait next time, touching on uh, people that are, when the customers, when is the customer not right? We, yeah, we, I we got didn't... an article thing here I read today about uh, a ridiculous long excuse and never got any answers uh, to watch wrong. I got 10 seconds. What do you tell an obnoxious customer, Dave? Depends on how obnoxious they get. Really I, obnoxious. I would never. Well, if they're the obnoxious enough that they're um, uh, uh, abusing the staff, it's time to go. All right, here you go. Dave Del Rio, Eat to Beat Sandbar and Grill. Stay tuned. Coming up next, Buddy Sports Page. We've got great guests for you right here on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Soul. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. Located in Ocala, Rinstar Medical Research has offered a wide range of clinical research trials for 17 years. Rinstar conducts clinical trials for conditions such as migraines, memory decline, fibromyalgia, and sun-damaged skin. To learn more, call Rinstar at 352-629-5800. Help us create a healthier tomorrow by volunteering today. Please call Rinstar at 352-629-5800. Are you looking for a durable farm fence to keep your horses enclosed or a beautiful vinyl fence to give that finishing touch to your home? Seminole Fence has over 20 years of experience in providing quality fence products and services for farm and residential properties. Let them surround your property with a fence that provides privacy, security, and stunning appeal. Don't wait. Contact them today at 352-208-0959 for a free estimate. Seminole Fence, working hard to build fences and harder to build relationships. Located next door to Silver Spring State Park and a few minutes from historic downtown Ocala, our award-winning Holiday Inn Express Hotel and Suites of Silver Springs is a place to stay for a friendly, memorable, and fun experience. Enjoy our fast and free Wi-Fi, complimentary hot breakfast, and free parking. Whether you're in town for work or play, our friendly staff will make you feel right at home. That's the Holiday Inn Express and Suites of Silver Springs. Proud sponsor of Friday Night Marion County High School Football on WOCA, The Source. 
Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens, has created the perfect bottle for whatever happens. The Bud Light Cool Twist Aluminum Bottle. It's made of 100% chill holding aluminum, so you know it's cold. It's tall and sleek, so it's refreshing. And here comes a twist. It's reclosable, so you know it's always up for whatever. The Bud Light Cool Twist Aluminum Bottle. Just bring it. Enjoy responsibly. Bud Light Beer, Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Welcome, Florida State football fans. Florida State's football program is all about performance, and the Seminoles are sleek and fast, just like Porsche and BMW of Ocala. Drive one today and experience luxury refinement that only a Porsche or BMW can deliver. BMW and Porsche of Ocala enjoys this challenge of meeting and exceeding each individual standards. Come by and visit them today. Visit BMW and Porsche of Ocala, proud sponsor of Florida State football, 1515 Southwest College Road, or call 877-812-2396. On this episode of What Not to Do, brought to you by Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. Why is there a helicopter in the yard? Never mind that. We have bigger issues. Really? Bigger than a helicopter? Your parents are going to be here for the big dinner, and the garbage disposal is making some crazy noise, and it wasn't Christmas music. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you tried shoving an entire sack of potatoes down the disposal. It wasn't the entire sack, just most of it. Now's not the time for more jokes, Mr. Funny Man. Well, I did try to fix it, but... Do you have to do this every holiday? No, I did skip Easter. What did we agree the rules are? Uh, no more circus animals in the house. No, not that one. Oh, if water runs through it, call Mike Scott Plumbing. Because they don't charge extra for nights, weekends, or holidays. So put down the blowtorch and pick up the phone. Yes, dear. 866-314-4443. And why is there a helicopter in the yard? Oh, that? Uh, Black Friday sale. (laughs) Happy holidays from all of us here at Mike Scott Plumbing. Robin, let's try a little plant trivia. Name this nursery. It's a not-for-profit, and it teaches growing and caring for plants to their students. Oh, that's easy. Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? It's a nursery conveniently located between Ocala and Bellevue. Again, it's Kenny's Place. Or how about this one? A nursery with a wide variety of just what you need or want at the most reasonable prices. Kenny's Place, of course. Kenny's Place at 7677 Southeast 41st Court. Give them a call at 867-1213. It's a caring place for people and plants. It's Kenny's Place. Keep up with what's going on in the downtown area with Ocala Downtown Newspaper. Delivering thousands of newspapers to businesses in the downtown area, Ocala Downtown is there to keep you informed. They even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about it. It's simple. For more info, just call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223, and pick up your copy of the Downtown Ocala Newspaper today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper online. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, Yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we we do that. I need my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new truck. Yep, we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Jane Metzler, Chicago's mayor asking for the resignation of that city's police superintendent, Gary McCarthy, after last week's court-ordered release of a dash cam video that showed a white police officer fatally shooting a black teenager. Mayor Rahm Emanuel also announcing a task force on police accountability, and all this in the wake of another apparent video taken eight days before Laquan McDonald's shooting that family members of Ronald Johnson say shows their son being shot in the back by police. They're demanding that video also be released. Fox's Jeff Manasso, a black engineering student at the University of Illinois at Chicago, released to the custody of his mother and allowed to attend classes after making online threats to kill white students and staff at the University of Chicago. The Dow closing up 168, the Nasdaq gains 48. Fox News, we report, you decide. Meet Rachel. She's making serious money on her own schedule driving with Uber. I was looking for something that was convenient and something that would help me to reach my financial goals. 
A friend suggested Uber and I liked it. I love the convenience of it. So I log on when I'm available and log off when I'm not. And it's very, very easy to do. Just get in your car and you drive. And I like driving my car. Thanks, Rachel. To start making great money with your car, sign up to drive today at drivewithuber.com. That's drivewithuber.com. I had fantastic results with the Andro 400 Max. Probably lost 35 pounds, and more impressive than that was the inches I lost off of my belly and my waist. And the increased energy is fantastic. Andro 400 Max, the best all-natural testosterone booster. Gain energy, lose belly fat. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. 888-400-0435. I'm a shot. 30. 30 seconds. I'm on right now. I don't believe you. Okay, okay. Enough kidding around. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, And now it's time for the Buddy Martin Buddy, Sports Bay. He actually had me stay here last night. In his gym. It's like I don't fit in. It's like I don't belong here. Let's go talk to a couple of guys that never gamble. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. See, Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poor house at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. Gambling is illegal at Bushwood, sir, and I never slide. And now, here's Buddy. Welcome, Buddy Sports Page, on a Tuesday as we're counting it down for the SEC Championship game, or as you prefer, SEC Massacre, as some predict. Coming up Saturday in Atlanta uh, at the Georgia Dome, I will be there along with Tom Spitz. David Moulton from 993 ESPN in Southwest Florida joins us now on the program, and he, in fact, will be there on Saturday. And uh, let's get his take on the game. David, of course, writes a column for the Fort Myers News Press. Also, uh, he's uh, got a cushy job where he travels around with Vern Lundquist and Gary Danielson and pretends like he's working in the booth, which he'll, I'm sure, be doing again on Saturday. So, David, how are you? I'm good. I had never heard the the top-of-the-hour intro or rejoin on your show before. I didn't realize you were such a big early 80s comedy fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do that. Are you are you a big 80s comedy fan? Oh, I, I loved every single drop you had there. I was laughing oh. off with it. Well, you should hear our other opens. They're pretty good, too. <laughs> okay. It drops off after there, though, Dave. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, between five and six is always a little sketchy. I hear. Yeah, exactly. It's actually all, all, all three hours, but that's okay. Well, okay, so as we call it, the march to Atlanta. I don't want to use the reference of the Batan Death March, but, I mean, you know, you know what I'm getting at here. Gators are 17-point underdogs in this game. Uh, and I think it's the second highest in history for the SEC. I think Florida and Arkansas was the largest. And uh, it, it's it's almost like a sentence as opposed to a reward. But you got to play the game up front. Is there any chance whatsoever that the Florida Gators could possibly win this football game? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now, I think there's only one path to winning the game. But can they win? Oh, sure. Now, it would take, you know, a defensive performance. uh, You know, it would take their best defensive performance of the year because, in essence, what they're going to have to do is do what they did for 50 to 52 minutes against Florida State and do it for 60. You know, I mean, you know, Saturday wasn't good enough because at the end, Cook and the running game got going and they ran it down their throat and they put two touchdowns on the board. They're going to have to keep this game under 17. I think we all know that. But, you know, buddy, there was a conference championship game I think it was 2009, the undefeated Colt McCoy Texas team was taking on, I think, a three-loss Nebraska team that didn't have much of an offense, but they had Indomitka Sue on defense. And Bo Pelini kept that Texas offense under wraps 
And Texas had to kick a last-second field goal to win a game that I think was in the high teens. And and that's what has to happen here. I mean, the Florida defense has to keep Alabama in the teens. But, buddy, I was at the Alabama-Auburn game last week. That's a six-point game early fourth quarter until Auburn, you know, Will got the 15-yard penalty and Bama kicked the field goal and made it nine. But that was basically a nine-point football game. And Florida's better than Auburn. And they're certainly better defensively. And I was at the Tennessee-Alabama game when Tennessee had a 14-13 lead with four minutes to go. So, yeah, Florida can win this game. They just can only win it one way. The line is going up as we speak. It's now already 17.5, could be 18.5 <laughs> or 19. By kickoff, Florida's defense is banged up. Trent Harris, of course, couldn't do anything uh, on Saturday against FSU. Part of that was because one of his best receivers, Demarcus Robinson, suspended again. Getting a little tiring of that story. Um, and uh, it seems like there, there's people have learned how to scheme against Florida. Uh, I, I, hate to, I hate the fact that the, the, the people talk about schematics because that's the most overused word today in football. But the fact is is that they have schemed Trian Harris. They know what he can do and what he can do. Uh, they've also figured out this offensive line, which I think Vanderbilt gave them a little, a little um, uh, help on in their film. Uh, and this team appears to be going south instead of north. They're playing against what some people think are the best team in America, bar none, even over Clemson, although they aren't ranked that way as of yet. So, uh, I mean, what can, with a battered defense that and, and guys banged up, and having to t- face a guy like Henry, by the way, who's no bargain, talk about Dalvin Cook, the guy who's probably going to win the Heisman Trophy, what kind of uh, what kind of hope can even be offered to Gator fans that this won't not just be a loss but a blowout and an embarrassment? All right. Well, you brought up a lot of things here. First, it has to start with the Gators' defense. I mean, they have to be better than the Alabama offense. Period. And that will start up front. Now, the Alabama offensive line, even though Henry may win the Heisman, they've given up a lot of negative plays this year. I mean, they really have. And Coker, while he's very good at avoiding the rush and scrambling, but he's had to be because it's not been as good an offensive line as the last five or six years have been. It's it's pretty good, and Henry's great, and eventually they wear you down. But that doesn't mean that during long stretches of the game. I mean, buddy, even in the Georgia blowout win, the Georgia defense forced eight three and outs on Alabama. They're not as dominant and as complete as their helmets and their jerseys make us think that they are. They really are human. I think the Gators defensively can really hang with Alabama into the fourth quarter. The question is, can the offense hang and do enough so that this game can get to 7 o'clock, 7.30. And I don't know what's happened with Trayon Harris. He's got to play better. He's got to play the way he did his first two starts when he took over for Will because he played much better then than he has in the last month. I do think the big issue is the offensive line. Remember, they were thin Mm -hmm. and inexperienced, Mm -hmm. and we didn't know how talented they were when the season started. I think by the end of the year, they're still thin. We still don't know how good they are. They're more experienced, but, buddy, I also think they're worn out. I think you're right. I made in my notes this point that weaknesses are exposed in the last half of the season. Well, there's lack of good fundamentals, lack of depth, poor coaching, lack of leadership, lack of skills at a position. It all comes out, and that's exactly what has happened to the Gators. And maybe it's not their fault. Maybe that's as good as they can play. Um <clears throat> There's some things – here I go with that word again. Schematically on offense, I feel that they could do they're not doing. When you line up there with only um, uh, Taylor and Treon Harris in the backfield, you give the you, you really eliminate having to deal with too much else in terms of the front seven. I mean, you've got to cover naturally. I get that. But it seems to me if you know the ball is going to go to one or two guys and you, all you got to do is stop him from passing, you've limited their options. Uh, I'd like to see them mix it up. 
maybe do more jet sweeps, get Antonio Callaway and maybe some of those other guys involved in, in something else besides what I'm seeing because straight up running, just running the straight trap or, or off tackle and throwing uh, passes of 10, 12, 13 yards are not going to beat anybody. It's become a one-dimensional offense. Do you agree with that? Uh, well, I, they're limited in personnel. I mean, let, let's face facts. I mean, the reason Will Muschamp's no longer the coach there is because he did not do a good job of providing personnel on that side of the ball. Correct. You know, Jim, Jim McElwain's only got so much to work with here. Now, everything you just said, though, I think is doable against Alabama. And really? Auburn attacked Alabama this way last week. Auburn, which doesn't have much of a running game, although I think they have a couple offensive linemen that are better than what the Gators have. But what Auburn did to start was they everything was wide. It was all sweeps and jet sweeps and everything. Even the passes were to the numbers in the sideline. But then by late first quarter and the second quarter, they ran right up the same three, you know, alleys. You know, center and the two guards. Same three gaps. They went right at Alabama. They had 100 yards rushing in the first half, most of it right at Alabama. And the one point that I take from last week for Florida State, against Florida State, is that, you know, they ran the ball with their tailback for 130 yards. Well, I will say that's a stat. The Gator tailback, Taylor, has to run for as many yards in the first three quarters of this game as Derrick Henry which that involves both sides of the ball. That means that the Gators are running it somewhat effectively and that the Florida defensive line is keeping Henry under wraps so that when the fourth quarter starts, you look up, both guys have 20 carries for 80 yards. That's what has to happen for Florida. And if it does, the Gator corners against the Alabama receivers, that's a really good matchup for Florida. A really good matchup for Florida. Meanwhile, I think the two Florida receivers, if they allow the suspended one to play, against the two Alabama corners, that's a toss-up as well. And so then what I think would happen is you start to slow this game down, get it into a grind. You know, Auburn had a pass last week, buddy, when they were down six, and they played their way into a position where Jeremy Johnson had their wide receiver one-on-one on Cyrus Jones, and he had him open, and he missed him. It was a touchdown. And that's what Florida has to do. Take an hour and a half worth of work, play their way into the game. They're going to get one play, one spot, hit it for a touchdown. It changes everything. If Auburn had hit that play, who knows what would have happened last week. Florida's going to have to create that moment and hit that play. And if they do, all the pressure in the world shifts to Alabama. And then it's game on. Big if, but I will say you're right. I think Florida's defense is better than Auburn's. So if oh, Auburn definitely. can do that, oh, that not means even that, close. Yeah, and so that they're going to have to get a special teams touchdown and or a, uh, a a turnover to be able to have any kind of chance whatsoever. And even then, I don't think that they are. Let's switch over to coaches for a second. Dave, <clears throat> uh, Dave Moulton from uh, 993 down in Southwest Florida, Naples, and Fort Myers. He also writes a column for the Fort Myers News Press and works for CBS on the big show every Saturday when they play uh, football, college football with Vernon and Gary. Uh, let's talk about the coaching. We all are kind of really kind of embarrassed by what's happened uh, with the coaching changes. Um, LSU, which we know he was, Les Miles hung out to dry. Mark Wick unceremoniously dumped, although I understand Rick is going to have many opportunities. And by the way, I heard today from a very good source that Will Muschamp has a very good chance of getting the South Carolina job. So your first year, your, your thoughts about the decorum of all this and what's happened to the game of college football. We all know the money. And secondly, uh, what's the latest rumor you hear about any coaching change? Uh, well, you know, Mark Richt is definitely going to be one of the four in the mix at Miami. Uh, Dan Mullen interviewed today. Uh, Greg Ciano has already been interviewed. Butch Davis has already been interviewed. And Mark Richt is lining up his interview. So it looks like it's going to come down to those four. Uh, I'm very surprised about Will Muschamp in South Carolina, personally, uh, just because, um, you know, Will didn't get it done in Florida. And I think as an AD, it's a tough press conference to have. You're hiring the guy 
but didn't get it done at one of the teams that you're trying to beat in your division, here's Will Muschamp. I think I'm surprised if they go that route uh, because I would want to know what Will has learned in terms of recruiting offense that is going to make South Carolina different from Florida because in theory he had access to better players at Florida than he's going to have at South Carolina. That being said, uh, Buddy, Mark Rick, and Les Miles are getting paid a lot of money. And Les was going to get $15 million to walk out the door. If, you know, if they want to pay him the money to leave, I don't have a problem with it. I really don't. Mark Rick was given 15 years. And let me ask you this. Could a Florida coach go 10 years without winning the SEC? Yes or no? Today, probably not. No, but, definitely not. Yeah, it depends. Definitely if not. he's in the SEC three times, you know, and, 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 and got, a, got a shot at it, I think the big thing is the remaining competitive for it. That's the key. Not having those I, uh, six win seasons. I, I Here's the other thing. I don't think Jeremy Foley could sit back. He'd have a hard enough time going 10 years without winning the SEC, but I don't think he could sleep at night if the last three years two Missouri teams and the the worst Florida team that's ever going to go to the SEC championship game is who goes to Atlanta, and Mark Rick's team has been the pick all three years to go and hasn't got. I mean, you can only blame – so many people in so many circumstances at some point before the Bucks stops with the head coach. And I think Georgia's taking a chance to try to be great. I really do. I think they're tired of being very good. They want greatness. Even if it's one moment of greatness, they're willing to risk it all to get it. I mean, remember, buddy, they haven't won it in 35 years. They haven't played for it in 33. I'm, I can live with Mark Rick being shown the door after 15 years. I really can. 5-10 and ten against the Gators. And I, I, can, I can live with it. I really can. Now, the way they were mistreating Les publicly was a disgrace, but I think that's what happens when some of the money people start calling the shots and not the AD. Agreed. Good stuff as always, David Moulton. Thank you. I'll see you on Saturday. Safe travels, buddy. All right, you too. Dave Moulton from 993 in Southwest Florida. Take a break. Come back. More coming your way on the backside. Rachel Barbo from uh, College Sports Show on XM Radio and a writer for GrinIronNow.com. Stay tuned. Tom's got the headlines next right here on Buddy's First Page. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM. We're live and local. The Source. When you were a kid, you had all sorts of toys. Toy cars, boats, trucks, entire toy boxes full of fun. Of course, you never really outgrow your toys, do you? It's just that now, instead of a box full, you have a garage full. Cars, trucks, boats, motorcycles, ATVs, and more. As you get older, your love of toys just gets stronger. So protect those toys the best way possible by switching to Allstate. An Allstate agent can help do the switching, paperwork, bundle all your policies together, and even find you a bunch of discounts. So if you love your toys, make sure you protect your toys by making one call to an Allstate agent. Protect all your toys with Allstate and the McDonald Agency. Established in 1985, we have offices in Ocala and the Villages to better serve you. Give us a call at 622-2333. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Are you in good hands? Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens, has created the perfect bottle for whatever happens. The Bud Light Cool Twist Aluminum Bottle. It's made of 100% chill holding aluminum, so you know it's cold. It's tall and sleek, so it's refreshing. And here comes a twist. It's reclosable, so you know it's always up for whatever. The Bud Light Cool Twist Aluminum Bottle. Just bring it. Enjoy responsibly. Bud Light Beer, Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. When it's Christmas in Ocala, I always think of Griner's and her closet at Griner's, and so should you. At Griner's, they're ready to help you this holiday season. Let them take the stress out of your holiday shopping. They have friendly and experienced staff right there to serve you. With free gift wrapping and convenient parking, you can enjoy your holiday season when you shop at Griner's and her closet at Griner's. Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturday, 10 to 4. Griner's and her closet, located at 405 East Silver Springs Boulevard in beautiful Ocala. 
Enrich your life at Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club. Here, century-old oak trees surround stunning homes, the finest resort-style amenities, and a stately clubhouse. Our exceptional golf course will host the 2016 Coates Golf Championship presented by RL Carriers. And here you can savor a luxurious lifestyle that's second to none. Call 352-369-6969 for more information on our available real estate options and to schedule a home tour. Ooh, ah, ouch. Does pain have you glued to the couch? Yes, unfortunately it's true that every year we must get older, but that doesn't mean we have to deal with pain in our back, knees, or shoulder. If your muscles and joints are sore, don't worry anymore. Come get acupuncture from me and you'll be pain-free. Acupuncture starts as low as $35 at a Better You Healthcare. Call me, Dr. Erica Olstein, at 615-5566. Stop your pain from driving you insane. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. Never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results and all but given up on my sex life. Then I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow, they made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor, so much more energy, and no longer worry about my performance. New Mayo treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozenet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch Planning for a Better and Safer Retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Voice of Ocala. Let's go out to the uh, uh, to the headlines. It's Tom Schmitz with the headlines. Kobe Bryant, a couple days after he announced that this will be his last year, he kicks off his farewell tour in his hometown of Philadelphia tonight. He uh, he'll play his first road game since announcing he'll retire after the season. His hometown Tuesday night against the 0 and 18 Philadelphia 76ers. Luke, is this the first road game of his farewell tour? Is this where he gets treated badly and Philly finally gets the first win of the season? You know, Philly's been knocking at the door of getting a win, which is extremely sad to say that they're, you know, with the record they have and they're still trying to knock on that door. But I think tonight's the, tonight's the night. Tonight is the night for Philly. This from the AP, the NFL owners could take a significant step toward the league's return to Los Angeles this week. Or they could decide another big step back. Nobody seems certain of the next move in this exhausting dance when the full ownership convenes Wednesday for its annual meetings outside of Dallas. While nothing is expected to be resolved this week, the NFL might set a date for that resolution by scheduling a relocation vote for next year. On the other hand, they also might emerge with a consensus to delay the entire debate for another year. My question is, everybody keeps saying by 2016, somebody will be playing football in Los Angeles. I don't know that that's necessarily going to take place. I, I don't think so. Mm-mm. And then finally, Tiger Woods can't seem to stay out of the news very long because he's a news hound who likes the news. Right. In my opinion. Mm-hmm. This out of Nassau, Bahamas, Tiger Woods painted a bleak picture Tuesday on when he can return to golf or even get back to doing anything more than just walking. He's had two back surgeries in the span of 18 months, followed by what he described only as another procedure in the same area last month. He has not started rehab, doesn't know when his back will allow for it. 
He said, the hardest part for me is there's really nothing I can look forward to, nothing I can build towards. It's just taking it literally just day by day and week by week and time by time. Um, he's a month from turning 40, and uh, he's not competed since August at the Wyndham Championship where he attracted record crowds in his first appearance. He played the best golf of a bad year. He went to two sh final round two shots behind, tied for 10th. But it was his last event of the year. I, I think this is it for Tiger. I, don't, I think Tiger's back is not going to let him play more than a l very limited schedule from here on out, and he'll be more like a exhibition draw to tournaments more than he will be a person who competes for championships. Yeah, and you know, like you said, he's about to turn 40. I think he's getting to the point in his career where he's uh, he's getting the hints. His body's given up. He, he, he might not want to in his heart of hearts, but – uh, his body's telling him, Tiger, you need you need to quit. Let me go ahead and go on record here saying I was wrong and Buddy Martin was right. Let's go <laughs> ahead and go on record here. I now think the way Buddy Martin does and not the way Dave Pingalore does that Tiger Woods will not catch Jack Nicholson's 18 majors. Tiger Woods will come up short, well short, um, and not win. There, go, hey, there goes uh, golf, golf great walking by the window there. A golfing great? Yeah. Who'd that be? Uh, what that? The Jack Nichols? No, no. Uh, Palmer? I thought that was Bo Williams just walked by the window. Oh, what? I don't think it was Bo. Might be Bo. I can't tell I from I think it back. is. I think it's Bo Williams just that walked that Bo? By. Yeah, it is Bo. That's what I yeah. thought. Bo and Sally. Hi, Bo and Sally. I thought that was Bo Williams just walked by the window. Yeah, Bo Williams, yeah. Nice people. Hey, by the way. Um, and a golfing great. New coach at UCF. Will you hear? I will talk about that coming up on the other side. Uh, Scott Frost. I know his brother Jack Frost very well. He should live up. Who was the kid that Frost that was one Heisman in Nebraska? Who was that kid? Was it Frost? Though. All right, coming up next. Ouch, we'll... Frost. Sounds the same. Yeah. Sure. We'll when take you a break. were a kid, we'll you had all sorts of toys. Toy cars, boats, trucks, entire toy boxes full of fun. Of course, you never really outgrow your toys, do you? It's just that now, instead of a box full, you have a garage full. Cars, trucks, boats, motorcycles, ATVs, and more. As you get older, your love of toys just gets stronger. So protect those toys the best way possible by switching to Allstate. An Allstate agent can help do the switching, paperwork, bundle all your policies together, and even find you a bunch of discounts. So if you love your toys, make sure you protect your toys by making one call to an Allstate agent. Protect all your toys with Allstate and the McDonald Agency. Established in 1985, we have offices in Ocala and the Villages to better serve you. Give us a call at 622-2333. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability. Are you in good hands? Do you experience body aches, joint, or a muscle pain all over your body? Does it keep you up at night, interfere with your day, and leave you feeling tired and in pain? You could be suffering from fibromyalgia. Renstar Medical Research in Ocala is conducting a research study of investigational medication for individuals between the ages of 18 and 75 who have had widespread body pain or tenderness for at least three months. Qualified participants will receive study-related medical care and investigational medication at no cost. Compensation for time and travel will be provided, and insurance is not necessary to participate. If you experience body aches or suffer from fibromyalgia and would like to find out more information about this fibromyalgia study, please call Renstar Medical Research in Ocala at 352-629-5800. That's Renstar Medical Research, 352-629-5800. Renstar Medical Research, seeking tomorrow's answers to the health questions of today. News Radio, I'm Jane Metzler. Chicago's mayor asking for the resignation of that city's police superintendent, Gary McCarthy, after last week's court-ordered release of a dash cam video that showed a white police officer fatally shooting a black teenager. Mayor Rahm Emanuel also announcing a task force on police accountability. And all this in the wake of another apparent video taken eight days before Laquan McDonald's shooting that family members of Ronald Johnson say shows their son being shot in the back by police. They're demanding that video also be released. Talks as Jeff Manasso, a black engineering student at the University of Illinois at Chicago, released to the custody of his mother and allowed to attend classes after making online threats to kill white students and staff at the University of Chicago. 
The Dow closing up 168. The Nasdaq gains 48. Fox News. We report. You decide. Meet Rachel. She's making serious money on her own schedule driving with Uber. I was looking for something that was convenient and something that would help me to reach my financial goals. A friend suggested Uber and I liked it. I love the convenience of it. So I log on when I'm available and log off when I'm not. And it's very, very easy to do. Just get in your car and you drive. But I like driving my car. Thanks, Rachel. To start making great money with your car, sign up to drive today at drivewithuber.com. That's drivewithuber.com. I had fantastic results with the Andro 400 Max. Probably lost 35 pounds, and more impressive than that was the inches I lost off of my belly and my waist. And the increased energy is fantastic. Andro 400 Max, the best all-natural testosterone booster. Gain energy, lose belly fat. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. 888-400-0435. On the next AM Ocala Live, Robin and I will be speaking to Linda Lucas. She's a computer programmer, a storyteller, and she's written a book called Hello Ruby. News Bites, the hottest news and current events served bite size. And then Jean Reagan will be on a backcountry volunteer to the Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. She's speaking about her book, How to Catch a Santa, a holiday how-to book for children. Find out all about your job opportunities on Career Source with Laura Burns. And then Matt Wilkerson will be here from Verizon Wireless. He'll be on the air to remind Mind me that I really need to get a smartphone. John Horvat is a scholar and a researcher. He's written a book called Return to Order. And then Eddie Rivas will be on. He's the co-creator of something called Rooster Teeth. He's written a book called Red vs. Blue, the ultimate fan guide based on the blockbuster Xbox video game Halo. Keep up with the latest travel tips from Anthony James on The Voice of Travel. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next day in Locala Live right here on The Source WOCA 96.3 FM. 1370 AM. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. It's normal to wonder if the previous tenant still has keys, but ask the landlord because they might have already changed the locks. And if you send an email late in the day, set a good example by sending it with something like, I look forward to hearing from you tomorrow. That way the recipient won't feel pressured to answer you now. Please go for a steam before your workout. It'll loosen up your muscles. Make sure you drink a tall glass of water before going from a steam room to the gym floor for your workout. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Located in Ocala, Rinstar Medical Research has offered a wide range of clinical research trials for 17 years. Rinstar conducts clinical trials for conditions such as migraines, memory decline, fibromyalgia, and sun-damaged skin. To learn more, call Rinstar at 352-629-5800. Help us create a healthier tomorrow by volunteering today. Please call Rinstar at 352-629-5800. Buddy Sports page on a Tuesday as we count it down toward the Southeastern Conference Championship Saturday in the Georgia Dome where uh, it looks like we'll decide whether this is a good thing or a bad thing for Florida. Could be walking to their own demise. It might be more of a massacre than a championship. But someone who's covered a lot of football in her time and continues to do so writes wonderful stuff, I might add, colleague of mine at gridironnow.com. She had a terrific piece on Derrick Henry. Uh, and she's on XM Radio. And when she's not doing anything else, she mentors young women and climbs Mount Kilimanjaro or whatever, the, which are Mount Everest, whichever one you'd like to pick out. My friend Rachel Barbro. Hello, Rachel. Hi, buddy. How are you? I'm good. It's, it's good that football's still going on and we've got something to talk about. But uh, I'm a little bit concerned for Gator fans. It kind of feels like they're walking to a windmill here or something. Or it looks like it, it might be one of those uh, uh, Titanics in the making. What's your take on this game Saturday? And I raise this question uh, sincerely. Is there any possibility at all that the Florida Gators could even challenge the mighty Alabama Crimson Tide Saturday in Georgia? Well, just a uh, a little hint and a preview. Josh Booty, I do a podcast, Booty and Barbeau, with him on Gridiron Now. And we mm-hmm. just visited with Shane Matthews. It will be up 
uh, former Florida great, uh, mm -hmm. Shane Matthews, and, you know, his assertion, and I have to agree with it, giving you a little bit of um, uh, a teaser as to what's in that interview was, you know, listen, and I think most people know this, but, you know, he just echoed the sentiment that uh, it's going to have to, it's going to have to be on the defense. The defense has to produce turnovers. Uh, it's going to have to produce points, and special teams play is going to be paramount in this game, field position, special teams, those types of things. And really, um, Alabama, you know, what their, what, what their defense does, Florida, you know, it's, it's, I think the onus is on them uh, to be mistake-free. And I don't know that that's possible right now. I, I just don't know. Now, you know, I have been so complimentary of, of Coach McElwain. He did so much at the beginning of the season, the middle of the season with smoke and mirrors, and, and you know, with patchwork, you know, particular uh, units, particularly the offensive line and what happened with, with the quarterback as well. We know and, and have to give credit to Will Muschamp on, you know, what he did defensively and some of the recruits that are in there and some of the players that are in there. Uh, but I, I don't even know that this is, you know, that this is something that Matt Queen can, can, you know, create, whip up on the offensive side of the ball because, frankly, this defense is where quarterbacks go to die. I mean, it just is. And the Alabama defense, the front seven, I've heard various coaches, including uh, Brett Bielema, say he's never seen anything like it in, like, 20 years of coaching. And they're, they're really – there's something else. And I – I think that, you know, again, just to, to reiterate that, I think the defense and special teams got to play one heck of a ball game because I don't know where the offense goes in the face of a defense like this. Exactly what I said on my, my tweet in the first half, almost just in the right at the end of the first quarter, that Florida is going to have to have a turnover or a special yeah. teams touchdown to have any chance whatsoever against FSU or they could be in trouble. Turns out yeah. they were in trouble. Now, looking yeah. at this, the, and I don't like comparative scores, and this isn't even a fair one, but let's, let's see. Mississippi beat Alabama, right? And Florida beat mm -hmm. Mississippi, right? Granted, mm -hmm. a different mm -hmm. quarterback, Will Greer. Correct. But uh, so looking at that, you think, well, maybe there's some hope. The difference seems to me, Rachel, and see if you agree, is this Alabama team has gotten better much better and is very consistent and is getting some production out of the offense. And Henry has really, Derek Henry has really reached his stride. He's in rhythm right now, and he's very hard to stop. So this is a different Alabama team than the one Mississippi played. Yeah, let me let me share a few uh, uh, talking points that I've visited with Saban after games and whatnot from the press conferences. One, he says that uh, Ole Miss was a seminal moment for this team. It was the turnaround moment. It was a t. It was a moment in which, after that game, the team started to trust Jacob Coker. One, uh, he won the team over after that with his physicality and his toughness. Two, Nick Saban preaches, and I've covered him for years, but he preaches about uh, a negative uh, act actually resulting in a positive down the road. What do I mean by that? I mean that he says when you win, you gloss over your mistakes. When you lose, you have to focus on those mistakes. And he said so oftentimes if, if there are men, if there are real men out there, that they will use that, you know, the loss to really, you know, examine, take a look in the mirror and figure out who they were. So he says, you know, he'll almost, I don't think he'll tell you straightforward, but he'll almost tell you that Mississippi game was the turning point for this team, right? That was, a, that was kind of the time, buddy, that they became revitalized, the time that they had revamped, if you will. Two other things. I have been saying all season long to anybody who will listen that I felt like uh, Nick Saban, and they're all little Sabans, they take a cue from him, right, that there was unfinished business in that second half of the Sugar Bowl last year. They got outcoached, they got outplayed, and I think it keeps Leighton Kiffin up at night. I know it kept uh, Nick Saban up at night, and these players have taken a cue from that. So I almost feel like this unfinished business with this Alabama team dating back to the postseason last year. And number three, Derrick Henry, his teammates will tell you, what he does is if he's going to get him to run at 30, the 40-yard dash, right, he's going to run it three times before he gets timed. Why does he do that? Because he's the type of player that, that gets better as he goes. So he doesn't wear down. He wears up. And that's the other thing about this, this Alabama team. For many years since I've covered them, since Saban has been there and they've been this championship S team, what they have done is they get stronger as their opponent gets weaker. So where it defies all logic, defies physics, that they should be getting weaker and more tired as the game goes on, they end up using like the boa constrictor method where they choke the life literally out of their opponents where there's some fight in the first half, there's some fight in the third quarter, and then by the fourth quarter they have literally worn their will down, they hit them with a the hammer, 
uh, yeah, Derrick Henry over and over and over again. And do they want to change a pace guy? Absolutely, they want Kenyon Drake back. They're hopeful they can get him back. It was a fracture in the wrist slash hand. But right now, they're using Derrick Henry out of necessity, right? And he's taking the ball, he's taking the rock, and he's running with it. So I think there's a lot of factors going in to this Alabama side. I wish you more of the best. I hope it's a great matchup. I don't want a lopsided matchup, but I do feel like this is more about Alabama and unfinished business on Alabama side. That'll depend on where you get it. 17, 17 and a half point hundred off the second biggest in the SEC championship game history. I want to go into this point, too, about teams playing better at, toward the end of the year and getting yeah. stronger. A lot of things happen. Uh, you get exposed on your weaknesses. Uh, but yeah. one of the things that happens is that you get better at some positions and you either go north or south. And certainly uh, this team is going north and getting better um, in – I think when you don't have the injury bug, I know it's a cliche for coaches, but Alabama yeah. has had some injuries, but they have not gotten the injuries to keep people. That, I think, and then their durability means an awful lot, doesn't it, Rachel? Yeah, it means an awful lot, and you, you see it. I saw, I remember a couple of years ago, uh, probably like five, six years ago, Auburn got hit. Uh, you know, just it was just like they were going down like flies. I mean, you know, they were just catching it like the flu, and you, they couldn't win for losing. TCU is another one that's been hit this year with the injury bug, and it does feel like one goes down. Uh, you know, another one goes down. I do remember uh, reading a piece, and it might have been from one of our colleagues at Gridiron Now, where they were looking at, like, the Arkansas. Cause they've had particularly a lot of injuries as well. And, and Brett Bielema looked at the fact, and he said, listen, what are we doing? You know, they look, they, they, they un- unraveled their strength and conditioning program, looked at the amount of vitamin D. There was a lot of broken bones, right? So they were mm-hmm. looking at the amount of vitamin D that they were taking in. I have even, uh, in, in being close to programs, the ACC and the SEC for the past two years, know that these coaches now rely on sleep. Um, on, on getting them a certain amount of sleep, certain times of sleep, what they're eating, how they're eating. I mean, it's totally been revitalized. And I think all of that's trickled down to the high school level, and that's why we're seeing so many athletes that are ready to go at a faster pace. But, yeah, the injury bug is something that definitely will spread. And Alabama, other than Minka Fitzpatrick, I think he tweaked the knee, Kenyon Drake with the wrist, largely they have been, you know, they've been okay. They haven't, they haven't been anything that's been detrimental, uh, and I think that's attributed to this run for sure. Rachel, got time for two more. I want you to talk to me yeah. about Derrick Henry. You had a wonderful piece on which went viral practically on GoodIronNow.com, and we all posted on our Facebook and said you got to read this story. Tell us about what you can tell us on this kid, Derrick Henry, and what impressed you so much for those who didn't get a chance to read the piece. Yeah, absolutely. They can go to GoodIronNow.com and go to my page or just uh, you know search Derrick Henry at the top right-hand side, and they can read it. But I was on the sideline quickly at uh, the Mississippi State game at the – at the end there, Deronia Wilson had gone down with what was a stinger. We didn't know that at the time. And, and you know, the trainer's all hush-hush. The coach comes over, Sabin comes over to talk to Mullen. And um, and it's, it's very scary. He's not moving his feet. His feet are laying askew. And, you know, it was very, uh, it was very scary. And then all of a sudden they tickled his, you know, his leg and his, and his foot jerked. And, you know, you could hear and my, I was praying. The state trooper next to me was praying. And uh, it turns out right around that time, Derrick Henry pushes down the line because it was near the Alabama bench. And he screams out, praying for you, dog, praying for you. And, um, and it was just struck me. And somebody smart told me, a writer that, that mentors me, says, look the other way, Rachel. When everybody else has looked one way, you look the other way. That's how you're going to find the story. And I, don't, I know people, you know, were watching and taking pictures. But I don't know if that struck anybody else. Maybe it's the way I'm built, buddy, but it struck me. And this past weekend I was in a huddle again after the game, and Derek Henry was waiting to be interviewed by Allie LaForce. And I don't know the background. I'm going to find out between he and Jeremy Johnson, but he broke away from the interview. And I've got these pictures, and I've tweeted them, of them, like, running towards each other. Jeremy lays his head on his shoulder, and he hugs them. Like, they're, like, near tears. And I just thought, here we are, the running back from an arch-rival school and the quarterback that's been much maligned, you know, and it's had a, 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 not the year that he was supposed to. He was supposed to be a Heisman candidate. And, and he got fans fighting and, and, you know, doing this crazy stuff after game. And you got the running back, the star running back, the Heisman front runner, and this quarterback embracing and hugging and smiling and, you know, finding each other in the middle of the field. And I just thought, this kid's special. This kid's really special. And I read his tweets, and he's just always talking about, listen, it's the team. It's not me. It's my offensive line. It's the whole team. And he always credits God. And, listen, I don't care if you believe in God. I mean, I do. But whatever you believe in, believe in something. And this kid believes greatly. He believes in his, in his team. He believes in you – know, he has faith. And he, and he works hard. He comes from a great family. And, 
I just think there's there's not much not to like about this kid. And the Heisman for the past couple of years has been guys that have had some issues with NCAA or character issues or questions. Now, a lot of them have gone on to make good of themselves and good for them. But this guy will be a great ambassador for the Heisman. I haven't even decided who I'm going to put up there yet. I've got spreadsheets out, and I'm going to be doing a lot of research on it. Yeah. But he's just a good quality kid. So you're a Heisman rookie. You get to do all that right now. <laughs> I've got, you know, I've got all mine this, buddy, set for right now. <laughs> yeah, let, let me say this quickly, buddy. I, I am just I'm just a female. I'm just a reporter, right? I, I'm I'm just a, and uh, and I say that with a lot of humility, but I became a Heisman voter two weeks ago. And deservedly, and so, deservedly me, so, by the way. Thank you. If you had told me that 10 years ago, if you had told me that at mm-hmm. 15, I mean, I cried like a baby when I got mm-hmm. the Heisman vote. I thought, of 870 people, fewer women, and maybe one of the first Latinas ever. I don't know. Yep. They said they don't, they told me they don't track ethnicity. Right. And, you know, it's just a huge compliment to be respected by my peers that much to be able to vote for such a prestigious award. So I'm going to take it seriously, buddy. Well, you know what? You, you'll be more knowledgeable than half the bunch. I can tell you that right now. I know how you know football. <laughs> this tweet on Derek Henry, I want to read it. Uh, yeah. King Henry underscore two. Nothing but God, coaches, and my teammates. They deserve all the yep. credit. To all the fans, thanks for the love and support. Roll, hashtag Roll Tide. So, I mean, how, how did it get any better? Yeah. Does it get, I mean, the kids just class out. I just want to know this. Number one, and final question, how did he not go to Florida? Number one, he's from Yulee. And number two, <laughs> what is he? who's his hairstylist? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, geez. Well, I think he's, you know, he wears his hair, does the hair to maybe detract from some other things that are going on with the hair. I don't know. But yeah. uh, who, whoever let him get out of the state of Florida should really oh, should, you know, should, should be, thank themselves. They should absolutely. They should be making, <laughs> run, making them up downs right now. So, uh, <laughs> Rachel, as usual, great stuff. And keep up the great work on goodironnow.com, XCM, everywhere. Or if you climb any mountain soon, be careful, okay? Hey, buddy, can I tell your listener something? If they're in Atlanta the night before the before the SEC championship, if yes. you're going up there for it, yes. we are putting on the movie Climb for Kevin and having a cigar party and a bourbon party afterwards, and you can go to kevinturnerfoundation.org backslash Atlanta. That's kevinturnerfoundation.org backslash Atlanta. What time is the movie, it? It's at 7.30 on Friday night in Buckhead right there in Atlanta, and all the proceeds go to the Kevin Turner Foundation, which supports research. And Mike did narrated this movie. How cool is that, right? It's our climb up Kilimanjaro. I want you to come, buddy. If you're in town, I'm gonna try. it will be my honor try. if yes. you could come. Yes. The KevinTurnerFoundation.org backslash Atlanta. We want Florida fans. We want Alabama fans. We want football fans. We want people that want to eradicate ALS, and all the money goes to research. Wonderful. I'll see you there on Friday. We'll work it out. Okay, sounds great, buddy. Thanks so much. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel Barbro from um, all those places I mentioned. We'll take a break. Come back after this timeout on Buddy Sports Page. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Are you looking for a durable farm fence to keep your horses enclosed or a beautiful vinyl fence to give that finishing touch to your home? Seminole Fence has over 20 years of experience in providing quality fence products and services for farm and residential properties. Let them surround your property with a fence that provides privacy, security, and stunning appeal. Don't wait. Contact them today at 352-208-0959 for a free estimate. Seminole Fence, working hard to build fences and harder to build relationships. Stay with us and sleep better at the Sleep Inn and Suites of Ocala Bellevue. Located next door to Don Garlitz Museum and a few minutes from Florida Horse Park, our award-winning newly refreshed Sleep Inn and Suites offer its comfy, clean rooms, free, fast Wi-Fi, and service with a smile. Start your day with a deluxe hot breakfast and unwind in our heated outdoor pool. Our convenient 24-hour fitness and business centers allow you to stay on track whether you're here to play or to work. That's Sleep Inn and Suites Ocala Bellevue, proud sponsor of Marion County High School Football. Need a car? Need financing? Need somebody to cut through the red tape and send you rolling down the highway? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Got great credit and just prefer a quality pre-owned car at a fair price from somebody you can trust? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Want to avoid high pressure to feel appreciated and be able to choose from a wide selection of Auto Check and Carfax certified vehicles? Prestige Auto Sales is the place to go. Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala. Prestige. It's all there in our name. 
Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens, has created the perfect bottle for whatever happens. The Bud Light Cool Twist Aluminum Bottle. It's made of 100% chill holding aluminum, so you know it's cold. It's tall and sleek, so it's refreshing. And here comes a twist. It's reclosable, so you know it's always up for whatever. The Bud Light Cool Twist Aluminum Bottle. Just bring it. Enjoy responsibly. Bud Light Beer, Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Are you wasting hundreds or thousands of dollars on termite retreat fees? If you're not with Turner Pest Control, you probably are. Turner Pest Control offers the industry's only termite and pest control package that never charges retreat fees, ever. You can get started today for only $99. This is a value of $500 or more. This includes treatments, installation of monitoring stations, quarterly pest control, and a lifetime guarantee. All for an unbelievable low $99. Even if you have another pest control provider, visit turnerpest.com to find out how you can avoid paying those high termite retreat fees. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. When I started thinking about this year's Christmas greeting, I wanted to make it something meaningful. So here is my heartfelt wish for us all. Good health, prosperity, and the peace to be happy, whatever our circumstances. Remember the reason for the season. Merry Christmas. W-O-C-A. 1370 W-O-C-A. Welcome back to Buddy Sports Page, wrapping up hour number three of this Tuesday edition. If you've been under a rock or you've been sleeping like Rip Van Winkle next to a tree and you just woke up today, we're taking this show on the road this weekend. Friday and Saturday, we'll be at Fanfare at the SEC Championship game. Buddy Martin and myself will be broadcasting live from Fanfare. It's at the World Congress Center right there in downtown Atlanta. I'd like to thank uh, Griner's Fine Men's Closing, the Briggs Law Firm, um, Renstar Medical Research for helping us on our trip to Atlanta. Also, I'd like to thank the McLeod Financial Group. Uh, John, Melanie, and David do a great job over there for you for all your insurance needs. Uh, Ocala Copy Center and, of course, Signs Unlimited. Buddy, I- I'm getting excited about headed to Atlanta. So where are you taking me on Friday night? We're going to go to Rachel's party. And I think we'll it's a burn social club. Buckhead. I, Buckhead I mean, you or... were invited. She didn't invite me. I can get you an invitation. You, you know somebody? I know somebody. You know, okay. Well, if you, you know, know somebody. Yeah, I know. Well, it's your town. Uh, you well, know, you know, I've, you don't want to go to the places I'd take you, pal. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, <laughs> including jail. Uh, well, yeah. I want to thank our guest there, by the way, Dave Del Rio. Uh, always does a great job on the Restaurant Food Show. And uh, David Moulton, who's commentary you heard earlier. Guy's really good. And Rachel Barbro had some fascinating stories about uh, Alabama and about uh, Derrick Henry and is that and person Nick knows Alabama better than she knows. She knows Alabama. a lot. Of, she goes all the way back to Bear Bryant. She yeah. can talk that talk. So, and uh, don't forget, once again, uh, we'll uh, we'll be uh, coming to you from Atlanta on on Saturday, Friday, Friday and Saturday. Saturday. So, on behalf of my broadcast partner Tom Schmitz and his pal Luke, the intern Sylvia, I'm Buddy Martin. Have a great night, everybody. Do you experience body aches, joint, or a muscle pain all over your body? Does it keep you up at night?